Good morning and welcome to our three week anniversary. Three weeks, how exciting, I'm really pleased. And this I think is my sixth show, so I'm really pleased to be with you today. Uh, my name's John Cole Morgan and I'm a quilter. I've been sewing for about five and a half, uh, six years. And anybody who's watched my shows know that I'm addicted to fabric and everything gorgeous about sewing. And yeah, I'm really pleased to have you with me today. Um, the website, as many of you know, is www.sewingstreet.com. Brand new channel on, brand new show on a new channel. Channel. Um, and we're available on channel 74 or 670 on Sky. Failing that, Neil did a really amazing uh, tutorial demonstration, not quite sure which one you want to call it, but it was fantastic. And he put it on the website saying that it was very boring. I thought it was amazing. I really struggle with anything technology based, anything with more, more than one button, I can't do. So do, if you are struggling to see us on your screens, please make sure you watch that little video. It's a really nice, cheap, easy way to make sure we're in your living rooms the way you want us to be. The website will allow you to buy anything that you're looking to do. Um, in today's show, we've got an amazing sewing machine and my absolute excitement of the week is we've got an air threader overlocker. I've never even heard of it. I am so excited. I'm just gonna stroke it quietly now. And we've got a two hour special while we go through. It's just so pretty. And it's really clever and a really beautiful machine. And I have never used an overlocker, so I forgive, you, forgive me in advance. I'm going to geek out all over it because you see all these amazing things happen. And then, of course, we've got our amazing Juki fantastic machine, which is another one I'm really looking forward to seeing because we all like a good sewing machine. We can't do this without a good machine. So again, on the website, if you log on to www.sewingstreet.com, you'll be able to see a little video of one of our latest videos. And then immediately underneath that, you'll be able to see the products from today's shows and previous shows as well. So it's just a massive screen of loveliness that you'll be able to just go through and enjoy and see what appeals to you. Oh, Oh, sorry, Hannah just told me some really amazing news. So these are really bulky, fantastic, huge pieces. Um, you know how big a sewing, uh, sewing machine box is. They're still only one PNP, and that's three ninety five. And again, that's throughout the day. So if you bought the sewing machine and you go back later and you bought something else, it's still only one pound, one postage and packaging of three ninety five for the day. So I'm just very excited to see all of this. So if everybody's willing to welcome Gary on. So if Gary can come and we'll show him. So Gary's from a company called Juki, which not many people have you known, which I'm looking forward to being able to show you. Gary, nice to have you. Thank I'm you so much for being here. here. Thank you very much for the invite. Look at it. It's toys. I've so got some beautiful. Toys with me. These are proper, brilliant. proper toys. Well, thank you very much. Well, Juki themselves, well, a lot of people out there just sort of who are Juki. Uh, a lot of people love Jukies. A lot of people have got Jukies on the industrial side, domestic side. Yes. But still, uh, again, as I first said, a little people say, who are Juki? Um, well, can I go back one step? Yeah, Even though you say it's an industrial machine, it really is beautiful. Thank you. It's a lovely piece of thing that you'd well, want to Well, this is our domestic at. machine. This is our 12-inch um, our arm domestic. It's on there, but It's gorgeous. got the industrial features in there, and that's what people are loving. Uh -huh. um, with Juki themselves, we've been going over 80 years. Um, 80? Over 80 and years. where are you based? Well, we're, well, in the UK, we're Juki UK. Right. Uh, Culture and Ethics is where I'm from as oh, well, fantastic. and that's where our head office is. We have training rooms there. Obviously, with our service department, engineers on the road as well. So we look after all of our machines completely. Brilliant. Obviously, as well as having a network across the UK, like all other manufacturers do as well. And again, you're at most so, of the shows, because I do um, all of the shows, the sewing <laughs> shows, knitting and stitching, anything. I'm always at those. And we always see you there. Well, I know. The, the, this weekend, obviously, the fun of this weekend, we've just been to yes, a show there. So indeed. that was all good fun That's as right, well. That's so well. Absolutely. No, so it's fantastic. There's always something going on But it's somewhere. great, because it's nice to know that you're always at these shows, because I think it's really great that if you've got a slight issue that you want to talk through somebody, yeah. you've got the machine on the show, on the stand, you can go through and just say, I'm having a bit of a problem with that, and you can be able to oh, fix well, it immediately, the guys, if you I've need you to. you at home as well, and just playing, you come onto the stand, where it's great to ask all the questions, get hands on the show you as well. Um, but you also get those amazing designers in as well, at the Festival of Quilts, you had that amazing guy from Japan doing that uh, Oh, the, 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 the cream, like, uh, that's right, that he's fantastic. absolutely fantastic he's on amazing. There. Well, the nice thing, again, with the Juki side of it, we do drag people from the domestic side, from the industrial side, Side, the creative side, the quilting side. Um, so whether you're doing soft furnishings, dressmaking, quilting, free motion, the machine covers it all. It really Absolutely does. Absolutely on there. It's and this as well comes with an amazing bundle as well, doesn't it? Well, at the moment, it's obviously we was here. We'd like to bring the offer. It's the first time done. here as we well. Like We've got it. to bring 
an offer for you. So be done. what we've done, we've actually put in over two hundred pounds worth of extra bits and pieces with our machine. That's incredible. On there, because the thing is as well, when you buy the sewing machine, you're always like, what foot do you buy? What, what do you do? do? I need? And I'm not even going to pretend to know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so do you want to talk us through what we've got? Here? First of all, my favourite is a nice, thick, easy to read instructional manual. manual. Lots of pictures because I like it. I, I struggle reading and understanding. So they've got the lovely pictures. If there's an issue, you've covered them all in red. Oh, I love that. Heart Juki. Oh, I love this. Well, again, it's the detail. So it's really good for that. It's Sorry. It's a very, very detailed book on there. It's not a download or anything like that. It's all in and one I language hate... as well, so you're not skipping from page to page. Because I hate there. the downloads. Because oh, I'm just... old school. I like a book. You I like to be able to write in it and say, this is where I did it exactly wrong. This is how I can fix it. it. Well, as we all know, instruction manuals give you averages and settings, but we all got our favourites of what we do, our fabrics of what we use as well. So having it in there as a reference. But Brilliant. This is... Sorry, that's just the basic thing you get. Let's look <laughs> The rest. Well, I'm going to say, but this is where our machine also takes apart from that because I can also, with the R now the industrial screen built into my machine, yes. if there's specific stitches you use, you can actually program in now and save stitches that you use. No. So instead of then coming out of the program, we're going back and playing around with it, I can now tailor make certain stitches on here. So, where you say about the instruction manual, having oh it all goodness. wrote in there, you can actually program the machine to keep. Your favourite settings on there. So this you is one of the. You completely and utterly distracted me now. Because <laughs> the reason being is when I'm a, when I'm doing my binding, I like yeah. to have my foot in a certain place and doing that. So you can save that well, stitch can, setting immediately save on there. We can that on here. We've also then got feed movement. We've got foot pressure. Yes. We've also got what we call a floating function as well. Mm. So where on sometimes when you're sewing fabrics, it marks the, the teeth. The pressure can mark yes. fabric, or it causes drag or velvet where it crushes the pile. We can prevent all of that as well. <gasps> so well, hopefully this is going to be some fun we can talk about today. So, you realise um, my husband's going to murder you. Oh, uh, well, he's, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're coming home with a new toy, so nothing wrong with that. Two, there's that one as well. Well, we haven't even got to that one yet, so absolutely. So let's go through these feet. So what have we got here? Right, well, included in the package, uh, without the extras that we're actually put in with it as well, you have got a good selection of feet. First of all, I will point out the walking foot is built into the machine. The dual feeding oh, system is not an attachment you screw on, it's actually a lever that pulls down from the back of the machine and literally engages like so. No, it's not yeah. that easy. It is literally that easy. Do you know how it many people I know who struggle putting a walking foot oh, on? Well, you've, got to, you've basically got to undo the attachment. No, you've got to kick it. your heel three uh, times, well, dance around the table it. twice. And the great thing about it being built in, where in the attachments in the box here, so we and I even just pick up the straight stitch foot, Yes. I can actually put the walking foot with the straight stitch foot. No. Then we pick up another foot. You've just changed my whole I binding experience. I mean, foot. Sylvia's whole binding experience. <laughs> <laughs> the patchwork foot, quarter inch foot, which comes with it as well. I can use it with the walking foot. That's incredible. So it's not just your normal utility feet. I can go through, pick up several different feet and think, right, okay. I'm going to just pick them all out of here Perfect. now. Perfect. Having just arranged it so nice and neatly in your box. Nice and neat. So let's get them out there. So we have got a standard, the straight stitch foot. And like we do at Juki, with the machine, we've got a full utility side to the machine. But there's a lot of people now doing heavyweight work, so yes. bag making. Or, but if you want that perfect straight stitch for quilting, etc. that way. Not only have we got straight stitch foot, and we have a straight stitch needle plate. <gasps> no. But which, when you look at industrial sewing, uh, you get a machine set up generally to do one or two jobs. Yes. And that's about it. And then you buy another machine to do another job. Well, that's kind of what my setup is at the and moment. Exactly. You, and then you end up having three or four machines mm. to do certain jobs on there. But what's wrong with having one machine and changing it to do the jobs for you? So Because that's just sensible. Exactly. It. <laughs> Unlike other machines where you can convert the needle plate to straight stitch and zigzag so it would then vary, yes. the feed systems will stay the same. So the feed systems are really quite wide because they want to do patterning, they want to allow in for different types of stitching, which obviously we've got a lot oh to play word. with on there. <laughs> we'll get to the stitching in a minute. So we've got a few hundred of stitches to play They're with. They're incredible. Absolutely fantastic. Look at all those so thank you. Holes. We've got a nice range of buttonholes, creative sewing, embroidery, decorative alphabets on there as well, so which is really nice. That's but amazing. One of the key things of converting a machine is what we have also got, not just converting it to a straight stitch needle plate. We've actually got an industrial feed system as well. Yeah, so I'm, no. going to show, I'm going to show you that shortly. So you can actually. You realise this is it. my Christmas. This is my <laughs> that Christmas. Is it sorted all in one. Out. Oh my goodness! I see what you mean. So um, where obviously with the wider feed, and you've turned in normal 
zigzag plate into a straight stitch plate, the feed is still going to be quite heavy. Of course. So obviously we've designed this so you convert it in completely into a straight stitch machine. Oh my god. And it's goodness. very, very simple to do. So I'm going to show you that shortly. Now these are what's standard with this the machine already? Oh my oh, goodness. Absolutely. So what have we got here? These so are the bits that are included in the bundle, aren't this they? This is the extras we're putting with it. So bias binder, uh, oh. attachment oh. that we're putting with it. These are sort of the essentials where the extra people keep asking whether you're doing dressmaking, creative sewing. These are all the bits and pieces what mainly people ask for. Does it come with invisible zip for? Does it come with a button sew on for? Does it come with a bias binder? Well, we're putting all of that with it. And this is all special. Yeah, this is usually exclusive extra. Exclusive with Sewing Street Absolutely today. Absolutely exclusive with Sewing Street Fantastic. today for you. So it's over two hundred pounds worth of bits and pieces. I see some These extra bobbins incredible. you can always do with extra bobbins, free motion embroidery for... Do you know what I do uh, with my bobbins? I'm incredible. I like less steps in my process. Right. I like to do it as quickly as I can. I sit, and I'm very boring, when I'm watching a TV show or I'm on a boring call, I sit and wind my bobbins right. with the threads that I normally do, so I've got them all ready to so go. So then you've got them ready. and this Because I feel like I'm time saving. Well, then. as you know, you never have too many bobbins on there. Never. Uh, on there. And the last thing you want to do is waste thread by having no undo bobbins and exactly. things like that. So no offense, no, but I saw you doing that earlier. My oh, so. yeah, I know. This is like, don't is this waste the thread. What is this? The it's one of the free motion for it. Oh, With the actual machine, so I lean across your desk, you do get the I'm clear on you. free motion foot, which is also a ruler foot as well. <gasps> so that comes, oh, a, that comes I a love a ruler anyway. foot. Well, a ruler foot is that thing at the moment which everybody's asking for. So we've put that with our machine, but as an optional, usually, but within the package we're giving you today, we're putting an open toe stippling free That's motion incredible. foot as well. Because these are quite expensive oh, when you absolutely. buy them individually. Once you start looking at all these prices individually, it does these add up. So. And the ruler foot, I know, because I've been looking at one of these at the moment, and I, they told me the price, and I inhaled very sharply, and, and I was like, right, no, no, a bit of a gulp, it's all right, right. <laughs> I'll, I'll do ruler work another day. That's so this one now is the cording presser foot. That's your creative cording foot. I suppose so. I should know what that is, I apologise, I don't. So again, it's for decorative, where you could feed roads of cores, where you zigzag over the edges. Oh, there. okay. So more of a creative foot that side of it. Oh, and then so that, this one here? And then this is actually something that we've put into it. With, obviously, all machines, there's no such thing as a standard fitting. No. Uh, we get a lot of people when they come in and say, well, I just want a universal foot. Well, first of all, there's not a universal foot for any machine, because even the same manufacturers will use different types of feet. So what we've done with that adapter, we've actually put that with it. So if you've got then low fitting attachments at home, gathering feet, pleating attachments and things like that, that adapter now will take it so it will work with our machine. So not only oh the interchangeable clip Oh my goodness, because there's feet. nothing worse than having an older machine yeah. that you're coming to that point which you want to upgrade or change it and then you've got to buy a new feet and for you've got to think, I've got so all of these feet. So this will adapt all the way through. That will adapt all the low shank attachments all on low shank. All so low shank attachments machine. on any machine on there. Well, excluding a couple of the old European machines. Oh, of course, machines. of course. So so obviously these all have disclaimers, as well, but for the majority of them. For basically 90% of the machines, low shank, that will fit. That is a really, really good thing. One of my friends just bought a brand new machine and it was really expensive and what the thing she was really upset about is that all her her feet that she had with it she couldn't no, use she them couldn't on the, but it was the same them. brand same level but she couldn't use them yeah. because they were sort of 10 15 years well, apart a lot of people don't see and that. that's an expensive addition oh, it's, it's a lot of extra this money a really on top of that, as we know it can soon well, add up thank you for bringing this well, amazing well, bundle so off, uh, and these little ones here then we've got the gauging foot for though if you look on the we've got the quilt on the front of the the table i don't know if we can see that quite on the camera on there but this is just give you an idea of some of the stitches built into the machine. That's you can so see clever. how they're paralleled lines. Yes. Well, this is gauging foot will allow you to do that. So you've got you've got the markings on the foot to give you that power. Oh, that is on so, so clever. We pop that in there. That's so you would use this as sort of what we were calling quilting or quarter inch foot line. Um, and then follow it on accordingly, roughly. Roughly, that's right. A quarter inch foot line is obviously a set guide, which we get with the machine as well. Uh, but with that one, you've obviously got variable markings on there. Of so course. you've got your different gauges of whatever you want your line spaces to be. To be. What's so, that one? Ah, pearls and sequins. So, oh, goodness. <clears throat> when you've got the pearls which are on the strip, yes. And I see this will allow you to feed the pearls through the middle of the foot. Oh, my goodness. And word. it will then zigzag. The sit, uh, then the beading on for you. So yeah. So okay, okay, a little well, bit. Well, I can creative, tell you now, you're definitely not going to get bored with yeah. any of that. Well, you've got some fun. Well, if you do, you just kind of look at your feet and think of another three days worth of projects. Well, you can exactly. Get yeah. yeah, you've got so and much built that? into it. That one's a braiding foot. A what? So, a braiding foot. So what I can do is got an adjustable front for different thicknesses <gasps> of braid. No. So as I feed my cord or braid through, which yes. then will zigzag over the edge, <gasps> I can adjust the thickness 
I want a braid to go through, so it gives me that perfect. Oh finish. my goodness, that would be amazing for quilters as well. Well, quilters. Because everybody's going into these new decorative, decorative couching and things exactly. like that. That would be amazing. That's exactly. And bag it. making as well. Oh, uh, anything that you're on that creative on, say, on the front of bags, on the front of quilts. That's it's amazing. Now. So and the great thing is, with me, I'm always famous for undoing the little latches on them, and you can see that slides up and down. This isn't coming off. No. And, and I know is. that I'm very good at undoing the thing, forgetting to so do it up again. Taking things completely disappears. apart is not going to disappear. On there for you. And then just there. these last two so feet. Bottom. I feel like we've been going on forever with well, all these bundles. say there is so much in there extra we put in there and say, uh, as well as all the utility feet that come as standard, yeah. um, obviously for all the different stitches, the machine itself, why not build, why not be creative? So buttons so on foot, so that will just clamp your button to allow you then to do your zigzags in there. So oh you my goodness. Do it by hands. What will you think so, of me? Which is nice. I'm so glad you're here for a two hour special today. I'm going to be well, over the moon It's, it's with this. great to be here for two hours. Eh? Now it usually just disappears, so it's great to be here. That's the invisible zip for Right, that it's, one I've used before. It's one of those things, once you put an invisible zip in, generally you would not go back to a normal zip. No, well, I've only, no. did, only ever did it once at the Festival of Quilts, and I tried again at home. Yeah. And I've used the one for the Festival of Quilts yeah, repeatedly. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, is, it can be a little bit tricky at first. Obviously, of having course. the right foot makes life a lot easier that and way. I think that's my problem, and I don't have the right if you right haven't foot. got the right foot, it will not fold it back to get the needle that as close as you need cute. to. So it is very precise. And say, so once you've used it and put invisible zips in, very rarely you go back to normal zips, you really do on there so we've sort of again it's it's the common attachments that people ask for when they've got sort of extra jobs to do so we put those in but we just chucked a few extra in there as well so you can just grow and play a little bit more these are so comes with a knee lifter yes yeah, so, so these knee lifters i know we can't use it today because we've got the table in the way but a lot of people i know have mobility issues they've got problems with their hands and their feet at times that's exactly so they yeah. find these really good but i've never used one right well, so this works really well with the machine as well absolutely spot on it's the industrial derived i Mm -hmm. And then basically what it does, it, as I say, because of the tables yeah, we've yeah, got, yeah. but it fits into the front of the machine and then using your knee into this hole just into here. Yes. So then using your knee, you push basically it, it moves the presser foot up and down. Perfect. We've taken it one step further than that. We don't have no, to worry yeah. about that. So even though it comes with it and some people love using it because yes. you, because you can set the machine up as a straight stitch industrial base machine, having mm -hmm. the knee lifter, we've also got a thread trimmer as well built I love. into it, is excellent. But we've gone one step further with knee lifter now. The foot lift is a mechanical lever, yes. which is the same as any machine Indeed. generally on the back there. But we have just now gone to an auto foot lift as well. Oh, no. So instead of using the knee lifter, you say, press it, give it a go. So if you say mobility oh, issues it. or maybe your feet are not working or knee lifters, people do find a little bit awkward sometimes because you've never used one. Then we've got a button there. Just press that. I love so it. So we've got our foot lift up and down. I feel like I'm a kid in a candy well, store. Well, this is great. This is what I like to see on there. It's all these extras, which we don't do gimmickies. You see, the thing is, with you, it's not extras. This is standard. This is our standard. These You're just taking it one sewing. step further. Well, this sort of thing, every time you sew, you cut your thread. Yes. You take your needle out of your work. Yes, and you, you lift, lift your, your foot up. Why not have it there built into That's it? Brilliant. Also, the speed control. You know you've got your variable foot control. Well, this I want to everyone to see the foot. <laughs> One foot for me, control. most of my feet are enormous. So, so this is just a perfect, perfect size. Well, again, you've got a nice foot control and also the button on the side. So, so this is your thread cutter, isn't yes, it? Yes, well, it is, and oh. it's not. Even though you've just done that, I can actually use that as a thread trimmer. I can actually use it as an all auto reverse, so yes. time and off for me. I can use it as a foot lift. So it's a multi-function, so I can change the use of that can button. The Absolutely. On there as well. Oh my goodness. So even though that's set and you can see it hasn't lifted the foot up, what I can do is go into our industrial programming on the screen on here, and then we can literally go in and say, right, when I press the button, I want it to lift the foot, <gasps> cut the threads and no. tie it off. So if you press the button now, when it does that, it will then stop, fall, and now it just lifted the foot automatically. Oh my goodness, I can't so, stop pressing yeah. this. <laughs> this is incredible. And again, it's something you do every time you sew. Every single we, time. We don't put gimmicky bits and pieces you're not going to use, or maybe use once and then forget exactly. about it. We just put stuff in there you're going to use every time. And what I love is it's small, because when you've got these enormous feet, absolutely. you, can't, you can, they're kind of constantly running away from you, where this one's much more controllable. And it is. But also, How at the brilliant. end of the day, though, what we can do is just unplug that, Ignore that, because we've also got a start-stop button, button with a speed controller. That is brilliant. Well. So with the start-stop button, you would then still do your presser foot you up and down? You have still got then your control here, but Perfect. I can still then manually override that and program it. So 
um, I can then, well, what I'm going to do, we're going to thread it up. Can, can it I start just ask it? one quick thing? Because <laughs> I'm loving this and I'm getting yeah. some of this. If you buy one of these machines, do you kind of have classes or something that you can do for yeah, them? Yeah, we have a range of classrooms around. So Sorry. I'm actually going to plug it back in again. Trying to drop that just slightly so that it <laughs> landed perfectly. As you know, it didn't work. It's just Sorry. not going to work there. <laughs> so um, we're out there. We've got plenty of helplines in right. there. So it's the sort of thing. And it's we, we get all the time where people are new to a machine. Or yes. It's a type of sewing they haven't done before. It's not if you have done it, this is a new machine. Machine, so it's got mm, new, but like all of these saving things, I think are fantastic. That's it. But it might be a little bit overwhelming. So you do classes as well. We do classes as well. We have Perfect. several classrooms around the country, so right. it's not just a one-off. Uh, oh, that's fixture. even so better. You can choose sometimes they're right dates. in the middle of the country, which is great. Is. But if you're in Scotland, it's a bit of a trek it's a to bit get of a pain. To. to be fair, ours are down south, that but we have we well, have them spread out a plan. little bit. Exactly. So, um, so what would be the price of the class? Uh, well, we offer sub subsidised classes on there, so it's under fifty pounds for a day's no, class for a whole day for a whole day on that. That's incredible. Yeah, we, we even generally throw lunch in with that as well. So no, oh my goodness, you know, just buy it for the, <laughs> yeah, for the lunch. Absolutely, for the lunches That's on fantastic. there. That's so, um, fantastic. We, so we'd like to know that the support is there, the backup is there, the two-year warranty is fully covered as well. We look after you completely that way. Of course. So, yeah, no, the whole package. And that's a two-year warranty. It's a full two-year warranty. And that's fully covered as well. That's parts, labour, mechanics. There's no um, oh, brilliant. maintenance level in that either. It is just we look after you. Perfect. No problem at all on that. So, also, this machine, I'm really, as really you can see, it's this. a long arm machine. Uh, how big there. is the throat on that? 12 inch, 30 centimeters oh, that's on there. It's, it is the biggest non embroidery system machine arm. Because one thing we do like to say, this is not an embroidery machine. I prefer, this is a utility personally, machine. I prefer to have a separate sewing machine and a separate embroidery machine because I think it's. First thing, it's too much for my brain, but I just love the fact, and I think they work really well individually. Well, sometimes personally. when you try and put too much in one item, it just doesn't do it as well as a machine designed to do that one job. Of course. So, um, again, with the majority of sewing, 90% of it is just utility sewing straight to zigzag. That's most people sewing on there. Yeah. And when you try and chuck in lots of other little things in there, you say that that's when you become problems where it doesn't like this fabric or it chews up certain yes. fabrics or it's not strong enough to then go over heavyweight fabrics. You see, Obviously, I also forget the bobbin. I keep changing it. I've got the wrong, wrong bobbin wrong in bobbin when you're doing it. an embroidery and you switch it around and you forget. This is it. With this one, again, Jam proof system, drop in bobbin. Perfect. We have also got bobbin count on here as well. <gasps> so, no. yeah, we have a Oh my count. god, the dream so, of all sewing machines a bobbin counter counts. when you're running low. It'll so, tell you. it will tell you, it will come up. It will basically, it does oh, it in two brilliant. different ways. You can do it by yardage, you can choose the thickness so you know how much is going on there. And then we can just go There is on. not a quilter, sewer, anybody in the world who would not kill for a bobbin once you've sewn 84 blocks of quilts together and you get quanga, quilt anger, when you haven't had any bobbin, you've been sewing absolutely nothing. I can take no credit for the word quanga. I learned that from Jenny Dunn. <laughs> Wonderful. But honestly, the bobbin <laughs> counter in itself sells this machine for me. Yeah, so again, the industrial derived system, it's very important on there. Very frustrating, you say you've been sewing and you realise you've exactly. sewn nothing. Honestly, it's like ask not me good. how I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure one of us has done that done most. It. Exactly, Everybody's I've done, done that many a time as well on there. So, it sort of, there's little things like that. Again, it's every time you sew, it's something you use. You can put it in metres, you can put it in yards. Perfect. It's entirely up to you. And there. I suppose as well, as you learn your machine, um, you can then see, because some of the bobbin counters I've seen on other machines, they can they leave a little bit too much thread on for my liking. Absolutely. I like just sort of three inches left well, and I'm happy. As but exactly. you can adjust it accordingly. You can adjust it accordingly on That's here as well. Brilliant. And also, because as, as you're aware of, as you say you're using bobbin thread, which could be a 60, 90 thickness yes. on there, normal sewing thread, 50 thickness thereabouts, embroidery thread, 40 thickness yep. thereabouts. So obviously with this, you can you know exactly then what how much thread, thread because got. of the thickness of the thread you're using as well. And I suppose so, as well the way it's fit, feeding round as well, it will tell you how it's doing it, it too. It will basically, it knows exactly how much it's got on there. So yeah, so it's little things again like that which make life you easier. You realise I'm going to have to well. negotiate really hard. I wonder if I could sell all my other machines it, just to get indeed, the Indeed, well, well the thing, this is it, I'm making sure obviously I keep an eye on it when I'm coming out with me this afternoon, is it? Or is it staying here? <laughs> no, so, they watch me now. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to take some fabric ones, so security check me. <laughs> this is it, yeah, on the way. Oh, absolutely. They wouldn't. You, you, you can't, you can't smuggle this that. one quite as much under your no, coat. So. But it's such a beautiful machine. <laughs> so that comes oh, off. We haven't even started sewing with it yet. We've got to sort of get to some sewing. That's but, brilliant. So the extension table, nice long arm. Gotta love an Adjustable extension table. Adjustable feet on the back as well. Brilliant. Obviously, it's, it's all honeycomb, so it's very strong. It doesn't flex and things like that. So with so. this one, the, what I like about this is you've got these really firm feet that yeah, it doesn't they fold down around. out the way as well. Brilliant. And you can adjust the height so you are oh, working on the surface on Because obviously, if you're doing ruler work and things like that, you've 
you've got to have a really good supporting table. Well, ruler work, free motion embroidery. The free motion and quilting. But quilting. But also, I'm going to stress this on things like anything you can support, whether you're dressmaking, whether you're soft furnishing, whether you're curtaining. The more support you've got to the needle, the better. The less drag. The, 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 it's, it's going to help. It's going to be easier. So, um, it's not just a matter of using it just oh, for it quilting. Oh, it fits in so easily. For... Sorry, James. No, please do. No, I like the excitement. So it's great on there. So because some of them you've got to line up the bolt and clip and up and down and again kick your heels three times go around the table twice that's it but that so fits beautifully nice and simple just slide straight onto there and again we can adjust and you can the, adjust the feet if you need there, to just oh, to get it settled brilliant. into the table on or what we're using so fantastic yeah so that's sort of the basic bits and pieces but let's let's get it Please, started let's set it up let's, let's, let's show me what you're going to so do so basically first of all oh we've had a message in from sandra hello sandra hello sandra she's saying good morning she's Oh, we like this. Oh, like She's got a juki machine and she absolutely loves it. She wouldn't be without it. Oh, and she'd recommend it to anybody. Thank you very the much. The great thing with that you. is because they've been around for so long, they have got such a large following. And I personally know a lot of people who only sew with the Juki industrial machines. And they've got separate Juki machines that they take with them to their quilting and things as well. Because they, quite, they like one. leaving their set up in one place. This is wonderful. And this is where... Thank you for calling in, Sandra, or messaging in. Thank, thank you. you. And this is where the technology from the industrial derived comes to their domestic. So a lot of people sort of say, what's this machine for? Is it professionals? Is it home use? Can beginners use it and that? It is such a simple machine to use. So obviously, price point. Beginners, it's usually a bit too much uh, of course, on there yes. or what it would do. But that's why I asked so, about the classes because I think sometimes when you get something like this, you understand it all at the show and then you get it home. Because when I bought my first machine, yeah. it literally sat in a box and it was only 80 quid. It sat in a box and stared at me for four months because I was terrified it's of it. to get it out on there. Well, the machine also won't allow you to do anything wrong. If you try and do something wrong, it's going to keep on. It's literally oh, just brilliant. not going to start. It will come up on screen. You have not done such and such. So that it will so look good. after you. So for beginners, it is a very easy machine, even though it's a considered purchase, obviously, because of the price of course, range it's in on there. But it's also but, one of those things, because I've found as well, I've only been doing this five years, and I've had, well, I've got 34 sewing machines, don't tell Andrew. <laughs> and, but I find as well that I'll buy a machine, and it... I find I outgrow it. Yes. Whereas this, it's a case of, and you'll rebuy and do that. And you're actually spending the money that you're using on this well, the time you over a period of time. Exactly. exactly. And also, if you've got something you enjoy using, or you're going to in use it oh, more, I can therefore tell you it's now, easier to justify on this. that. So, but setting it up, the drop-in bobbin system, 100% mm -hmm. jam-proof, fully self-lubricating, and it's all arrowed and numbered. So we can just drop it in, and then we just follow number one, Number two. Oh, I like it. Number three, it. and it just cuts off. And oh, once how you've easy. got your tail, I'm going to try this, you're on your floor. Sorry about that. And then oh, you're fine. All we do is the cover goes back on, and that's it. We don't touch it again now. So we don't pick it up, do anything that way. The top threading, you fit. Top it literally on, just went up, down, and then across. Oh, and then wonderful. just cuts, it, cuts <laughs> off, and that's it. And then top threading, to be fair, on any sewing machine, 98% of machines will thread exactly the same way. Yes. Even though they may look slightly different. Oh, you, you've got one extra bit at the bottom. That's exactly it. But you've still oh, got you're down. you're covered in thread. Oh, you see, you didn't get it on the floor. floor you got it on you. I didn't want to mess the floor up. That's all right. <laughs> so, OK, it's all arrowed and numbered. So down, number three, up, over, number, number four. four. And if we, once we go through the tension, what I'm going to do there is put my foot down. And the reason being that, because now well, I'm not just pulling reels of thread off. So you're not wasting thread anymore. That now. is really clever, but because with, with, with my threading machine, I've been told never to actually put the foot down when I'm threading it. Well, but the, that actually makes such sense. But you notice I did it after I went through the tension. Yes. So I went over number four, then put the put foot the down. down. I haven't got to do that, but it's just a little personal thing I always well, do. Well, it saves a little bit of thread. Because I'm not just wasting thread. But also, with this one, when I go down to number six this behind the guide. Number seven is your needle threader. Yes. So it goes in, and number eight is a thread trimmer just on the side. Oh, wow. So that then just cuts off. But do you know what there. I love about this, is this is now on the YouTube uh, channel that yes. we've got. So if anybody ever needed to refer back to this, yeah, because we all forget how to thread a machine sometimes, you can then go back and watch it. And that's on the YouTube channel, Sewing Street, T is it Sewing Street TV or Sewing Street on YouTube? Sewing Street, sorry, because I got confused then between the Facebook page and not. So it's Sewing Street, so you can click subscribe and you'll be able to get every video that we pop up. It'll come up in your inbox. But yeah. it's really, really So great. then from there, all we do is number nine, which is the little lever on the side here. Yes. I'm just going to press that down, <gasps> let go. Oh. There you go. And it's done. So again, I'm not in front of it. I didn't I have to line it up. The machine ultimately turns and lines brilliant. itself up. So brilliant needle threader on there as well. Oh, and you just 
Okay. Just Perfect. And you just wind that under the foot the as foot you would normally. Up, and I'm, just and I'm guessing all of these would be in the instruction manual Absolutely as well. Absolutely in the instruction manual. So Brilliant. there is a lot more on YouTube as well for channels that we've done and put out there. So there's there a lot of quite helpful a lot advice. Well. Yeah, absolutely. So I, a... I have to say, I keep going back to this manual, and every time you're looking at something, there's a big red circle around what they're recommending or looking at. And for myself, I need things to be really, really clear because I don't understand if there's an issue. And you can see they're pointing to an arrow there and, and all the red sections. I just want to get sewing and if something goes I wrong, I want exactly. something really easy to pick up and know what I'm doing. But as you said, there are loads on the YouTube channels and things from various people. So and from you. Absolutely, yeah. We're Let me always there. I'm just going to put that those I over there just do. to give that us a I little bit more space do. on here. So. I want to make sure I'm keeping my space a little tidier. This I've is been it. a very, very messy of late. <laughs> well, show me a sewing room what's not messy. Yeah, but it, it's, the, it's the creative side, it's going to be. No, I'm just throwing those because I want to watch. So, yeah, no, just chuck them in there. We're going to get a play with some of them soon anyway. So, with the machine. So, this is a standard foot that we're using now, just a, a normal, normal standard, standard foot. foot. Foot A, it will tell me, right. on, it will suggest on screen what to use. Okay. It's uh, then also give me the, all the information. Needle position centre, stitch width zero because I'm going to do straight stitch and stitch length 2.4. And then the foot that that's suggesting then... is going across the. Oh my gosh, you're increasing and decreasing the stitch. Exactly, is that a little yeah. dial? It's a little <gasps> dial. Oh, that's this so is, much easier. Again, it's I one cannot of those stand things. that. Press, 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 well, press. A lot of people should say, well, why? All old machines and that, most yes. machines were all had dials on All there. of them, and they worked beautifully. And, and some of them lovely. are still around. And now with most machines now, uh, you will have push buttons. Believe it or not, it's very expensive to have jogger switches put into the machine. Are they um, really? Yeah. This is quite an excellent, and this is why we find it very important. And on top of the range machines, it's a must-have for applique, freehand embroidery, satin stitching, where you can then vary as you go along on here. The stitch length you can control. Mm -hmm. For free motion embroidery, you can just easy enough grab them as well. And the good thing is, is that as you're sewing, if you think that you're slightly bigger, you can just adjust it as you go. And you can adjust it all as you sew oh, on there brilliant. as well. And it's very responsive as well. So, and then literally, we, and all that, all we can do is just You're not even sewing. touching it. That's just cheating. So, again, as I can control the stitch I can make it longer. You're not even holding it, I love this. Very, it's a box, the box feed system which Duke is known for. Notice every time I stop, the foot lifted, so auto pivoting. <gasps> I'm going to start sewing again. Oh my gosh. It will stop. The lift, auto this pivoting. This is incredible. Down. And now that the dropping the needle down is one of the features that you can adjust accordingly. And that's it. So at the moment. Well, now I, you put it at top speed, what on earth's going to happen? I, I've now? actually tailor made the machine to myself where I like it. Every time I stop, the needle will stop in the work. Perfect. The foot will lift. Yeah. And I've got it lifting to four millimetre. I can change the so height of that. that. So if I'm doing rodding, so if you're doing bindings like and things bindings. like that, because that's quite the thickest part of a quilt. Exactly. You can adjust yeah. them accordingly. So you can just adjust those it and corners tailor make it. Oh, it, it, well, it's one of those things. If it slips, it moves. You're never going to get it right. Mm -hmm. So you want that needle to be perfect. And that, that so. bobbin catcher is going to get you because I've bound a whole quilt before and no bobbin. And uh, I was that's thrilled. frustrating. <laughs> very, very frustrating. <laughs> oh, look how beautifully it's stitching. So, but also the smooth. There's no vibrations. Full metal chassis in the machine. So even though how big it is, it's obviously it's a big. It's a solid. And it is, yes. And if you no. want the speed, we've you're got, still not touching we've, it. We've got the speed there as well. That's incredible. And then you would press your magic little foot and on the side, it. So and it would all come out. Ends, I can then just press the button, comes down, stops, cuts, lifts, and there you have one stitch seam. That is really good. Oh, look at the stitching. This is what we like to sort of the performance of can, the stitch. Can I just say my machine isn't this good? There is no way. Well, so with some, again, you can get the different layers, and this is the difference between going to a high quality. It's not just extra stitches. A lot of people think when you buy a machine like that, you're paying for stitches. You're not. I could have this machine with 10% of these stitches on, and it would cost no difference to build, because yeah. it's a bigger program. Of a program course. doesn't cost. It's the but sewing functions, the sewing features, that's what sets it So it's your tension there. and auto-tension as well? It, it is an auto-tension system Because you've done two layers of what I would call a bolster, upholstery fabric. Yeah, this is just a heavyweight calico. And the stitching, you can't even tell the difference between the front and the back. The stitching is so good. I'm going to flip this over at the same time. And then just as... Just and you can see you can tell absolutely no difference between the stitching one side or the other. It's fantastic. What on earth is that? That's not even fabric, it's just a wisp this of air. Exactly. But now, how do you go from having such, because I would call this industrial uh, um, upholstery fabric, well, to possibly the thinnest fabric in the universe? Something like this, what, what we like to say, this, this is a heavy, sort of heavy heavyweight calico. cotton, so it's a heavyweight yeah. calico, you say, for, for cushions, upholstery, bags, bases, whichever, bags, yeah. et cetera, that way. So it's a good, tough fabric. So to be fair, any machine should stitch on this without a problem at fair all. It supports the stitches, but it that. does that. So what we like to do... It's just a little wisp of air. Let's just get, let's get some of those 
those fabrics we no, know. No, you're not, not going to touch it again. I'm just not going to touch anything You're just at holding all. it there to guide it. Oh my goodness. So uh, there's no adjustments at all, no tensions, no movements, no pressures. You've got I've, no involvement for this at all. I've just gone from one to the other. Uh, but this is what you should be able to do with a good machine. You shouldn't have to fiddle, you shouldn't have to play. And then when I get to the end, <sighs> again, I'll cut, finish, stop. And has that not snagged in any way because um, of the feed? Oh my goodness. And the difference between the now, two. Now this is the back, I'm showing you the back because I expected the feed dogs in some way to have gripped onto the fabric and you can see it's in absolutely pristine condition. So that's the back and there's the front. So does this thing, how does it actually do the different pressuring on that? Because you have it set at, your pressure systems must be set pre-set. Pre they, well, they are set to sort of an average. Oh, we're very strong. Really we have very strong. very strong extension there as well. With some fine tuning of machines, when you're changing from fabric to fabric, to be fair, unless you actually know what you're doing, it's a waste of time anyway. It's because you could be adjusting <laughs> it wrongly. Enough. Fair uh, enough. So on there. And then a lot of people sort of say, does this self-adjust? No, it doesn't. It's just, there is, it, I'm going to be a bit boastful really, you either just get good quality or bad quality. Because it doesn't matter how many, somebody says how automatic their machine is, there's yes. no machine can judge what thread you're putting through it, what True. fabric you're putting through it. It's still down to you to say that uh, on there. So even when they say it's got auto tensions or auto this or auto that, personally I think it's a little bit of a false claim because okay. it still can't look after different thicknesses because it doesn't know. Well, also you have to be involved. You have exactly. to have some part in it. Or you get a machine that will basically pressurise and it will be an even pressure whether you're going through thick or thin. thin. It shouldn't matter. Right. Because the pressure will stay the same and that's the difference. So even what we've done then, so from Calico, we've gone from that, we've gone on to Crystal Organza, denim. 14 ounce heavyweight denim. So... But, but you've not changed anything. I'm not you've gone to change from, anything from at the all. calico to the organza, and they've equally stitched. And now you're just going to do that, and you just you're not doubling it. No, 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 no. I'm going to triple it. So, no way! No, because, because, well, basically, at the end of the day, a seam is obviously that. It's three layers of denim. So if you've got a side seam, that is what no. you're going to be doing. So what I'm going to do... Do you know what's terrible? I'm, I know, I'm hoping this is going to work, but secretly I think everybody is sitting there going, oh, don't work, don't work. <laughs> is that bad? It's, well, it's, it's a lot of people... Because it's live telly. What could it's, possibly it's go like, wrong? Like, well, <laughs> going to be fair, going through... Please can you hold this? Because you freak me out when you just run it through usually, the machine. Usually you would have You're it sort of pinned to, and marked. It's, well, I'm going to keep the folds together, but obviously I'm not changing anything else at all. I'm just going to... Away I go. And, and it's still stitching as it beautifully. Will, it will just stitch. And you've literally just gone from the organza to three layers yeah. of the denim. And, even on and the this speed, is super thick denim as well. It's, like it's a 14 ounce denim, so it's a heavy weight denim. So for bag making and doing straps and things... So that <gasps> is your, your seam. No. Obviously not a very straight seam, but it's a straight stitch seam, but there's obviously on there. But to be fair, that's, that no, that's nothing. That is really that's, good. No, that's nothing. Oh gosh, this yeah, is... But because that, what most machines should cope with three layers of denim, to be fair. fair Stitches enough. may not be that even, but... To well, be those look pretty through, even to well, me. No, on our machine it is, but on some other machines <laughs> it might not be as even on that, I will point But again, out. there's no tension back, issues I, on the back. I, I feel like a quilt yeah, judge I'm looking gonna, at I'm every gonna, stitch. I'm going to let people at home know, realistically, obviously, change your needle. Oh, of course, you've got to do your proper needle, and obviously yes, I'm not yes, putting yes. a new needle in, I'm not changing needle for different thickness, and it's going to cope with it absolutely fine, because I know the power of my machine. And even, you well... What the problem is, three layers of denim and a side seam is not necessarily an issue for okay. most machines. When you hem a pair of jeans, obviously, you want a fold. So you're then doubling everything up. You are not. No, I'm not, because that's not a jeans hem. A jeans hem is that, you're where you've actually doubled it You up are again. just showing off so, now. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, I'm not going to touch again anything at all. I'm not even using the walking foot at this point. I'm you haven't even put the walking no, the, foot no, down. No, I've left. I'm not touching no. that. I'm, relying I'm sorry, on, I'm leaning right in. That's I can't right. not. The power of the machine with the box feed, and obviously I'm not going to push it. I'm, you I'm ju just you're literally hold just layers. holding it down. It doesn't bang, it won't murmur, it doesn't skip. Do you know my machine would have had a heart attack oh, by now? Machine. It actually would have... struggle a little bit at that, or you just wouldn't even dare put it through. That is it doesn't bang, and that's what a machine should do. And then you're you. just clicking the one side, it unpicks and it's all free. And there you have one jean seam. That is really, really, really good. And you say it's 14 ounce denim. There's but that's, what, that's, 10 layers of denim. Eight, that's yeah. like six. How many, how many layers is yeah, that? So that's three, six, nine, nine layers of nine denim. Nine layers of yeah, 14 so ounce denim. Way. 
And, uh, there was no just, chewing up, it wasn't slowing down. I'm not it just, forcing it through. But the other thing is it didn't make that horrible clunk that it, <laughs> well, my machine certainly well, makes. Okay, do, do, as soon as your machine will start, it starts clunking, or if you actually have to help your fabric through, the machine doesn't want to do it. You're going to be <laughs> Indeed. damaging something Indeed, out in yes. now, or you could be. So it that should be that. incredible. And you've it, changed nothing. No, the, the, and that's what makes the machine so easy. So when you say for beginners, then yes, it's, it's But what's a big good is it's, it's beginners because it's got that support that if you do do something like that and yeah. you do make these, because like bag straps and things oh. like that, mine, I make bags and they all fall apart, so but doing that, bag knowing making. that it's there. There you go, let's, have, let's do some vinyl, let's do some bits and pieces like this. So get some, let's get oh some serious goodness. fabrics on that, what people, we know bag making at the moment is huge. It's really, really, the really market. huge. It really is. And the amount of machines I'm seeing through the workshop, uh, and again, not this sort of level on there, mm -hmm. where people are just destroying them because they're putting through vinyls, obviously exactly. webbings and things like that. The needles are just bending and moving all over the place. Of course, because so, they yes, yes. Well, We've had a message in from Laura. Hello, Laura. Laura absolutely loves the machine. Wonderful. Like I do. Oh, I like to hear. Oh, and she loves my enthusiasm, and well, I'm really pleased, because I genuinely <laughs> oh, love this machine. I love machine. this as well. This is brilliant. I, it's, because it's the first that time you've really incredible. seen it. It the, is. It is that shock and awe, which is really nice. Because it's one nice. of those ones you walk past and go, oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, oh, and then see why it's so nice. And so, again, I'm so glad we got you here for the two-hour special today. We've got this amazing machine for the first hour, and then we've got the amazing uh, uh, airlock Air thread, <laughs> air thread overlocker. So it's air thread overlocker. Say that three times quickly. And this is what we're seeing in our second hour here. Let me just stroke it nicely there. I don't even know how that works. I don't. I couldn't even imagine what you do with that. But you've blown me so, over with this. Right, well, now show me. You're going to do vinyl. You're going to blow vinyls my mind. and heavyweight fabrics, etc. So with obviously bag making, a lot of time when you're doing strappings and things like that, obviously everything's got to be to be reinforced. Yes. Uh, on there. So we all chuck so much rubbish oh, in there. Oh, this is exactly. <laughs> it, but it's also well, you don't want the handles, the straps no. to break as you walk in, obviously on there, or if someone it gets grabs or caught on something and it just comes off. So you want it to be nice and strong. So you know, I'm trying to pull this. Apart, yeah, though, don't please you? do. I'm quite it's happy stuck. when you it do that. It will not move. And that's only with our single stitch as well, because what I'm going to show you now is the triple no. stitch. So, to be fair, most machines have got a triple stitch on it. Right. The difference is, with a lot of, on a normal elliptical feed, the triple stitch maximum you can usually go up is to about three millimetre. Right. So it's quite limited, especially when you're going through thick fabrics yes. as well. So what we can do on here, with, our, with again, the box feed you're system... You're at 4.45. I'm going up... So when you get that several clicks, you know it's got to extremes, Fine. and it's even on the way down as well, it will do it. So it won't actually allow you to go so too low. So it is literally low. at that point the computer says no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is it. So it's not allowing you to do anything wrong that way. So I'm going to go up to 5 mil on here. And then, again, obviously with bag strappings, we haven't just got one layer, two layers. We're just going to put several You're layers off through. <laughs> You're just showing off now. This is, well, again, it's just we know the problems and people are having. And that's now four layers, layers there. Heavy duty vinyl, see, cotton back vinyl. And that is really thick. So, and again, I'm not, I'm not touching anything else at all. I'm just putting it straight through. So it's giving you that reinforced triple stitch. But look at the effect it will give you. Because something. Oh my gosh, look at that! What a lot of people try and do at home, they try and put heavy weight threads for their domestic machines. Domestic of course, machines. This is just a normal thread. This is a normal thread. Domestic machines are not designed for upholstery threads. The, the timings, the systems are not right. So, with this particular stitch, if you have a little look at that, <laughs> I think you're going to like that one. Oh my goodness. And it's just it's normal. A normal um, a thread that you would use for a normal sewing machine. This is a, uh, I've got a 40 weight thread on here. That's it's a, a high sheen, thread. so it stands out on television quite nice. Obviously, I'm using a complete contrast thread as well, so nothing's going to disappear into the fabric. You can see the quality of it. The but you know what I love? I can't tell which your top and your bottom was because I'm expecting the way my machine works, yeah. it would have smushed the back. Bit. Exactly. Of course, yeah. my technical term yeah. smushed. <laughs> the smushing but we all know yeah. what it means. <laughs> little lumps and bumps everywhere. But it's, no, it's the scratching from the feed dogs. Oh, you I find that I get the pressings there, there. but this is just beautiful. Again, it's not marked it at all. And it looks so professional. And that's what it should do. This is, I think, I think for so many years, people put up with something, that will do, that will do. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't have to put up with that. We, we should get And I know this is a considered purchase. There's oh, no question, so. but yeah. my word. Because this is, this is going to last years. You are going to do something incredible now. So what you? we're going to do, obviously, we've got the layers of vinyl on there, with the bag making. We're going to have to obviously put a handle on it. So heavy nylon webbing. Obviously, it's not, not cheap cotton or anything like that. I have this image of you bringing a tyre out. <laughs> that could be next. So what we're going to do is just going to double. So you've got four layers of then vinyl, vinyl, and two layers and of webbing, of the webbing and that's really thick webbing. So I'm 
I'm just going to pop it under. Obviously, I'm just, just going to. So you haven't it. changed it. You've still got the triple I've stitch got, on that at five because I want it to be reinforced. Because it is obviously the stronger this is, the better. So I'm just stitching forwards, back, forwards. Got, got that smooth yes. control, so I can literally do it a stitch at a time. Oh my goodness! Then, so because you've got your needle down, you can just rotate. Just rotate, it. turn. To be fair, because this is a much thicker fabric. What I can actually do now, go on here and I can then change the depth of my fabric. So when it lifts the, the foot up, it's now going to lift it to six mil instead yes. of four mil. And then that, will now, when I do want to move now, I've given myself extra clearance. So the, the foot lifted, so yes. I, I'm not going to lift it at all. I've just moved, oh I've turned. Oh my goodness, you're technically floating it. But that's exactly it. There, one more forward. Lifts, turn. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Yeah, stop, lift, and then just take out. I feel like I. Oh my goodness, look at that. And you. So, going through nylon webbings with vinyls, the different textures, the different finishes, generally don't, ha don't have an issue with that at all. It just coats with it, absolutely no problem. So it's, it is that performance side. And as I say, with all the, the stitches on here, we have got hundreds of stitches playing around with alphabets, which most machines do have. That's not the unique thing with Juki. That's just the fun bit. This bit, the serious sewing side, the performance level, that's what we want. That's what we want to know whether we pick up a piece of satin, a piece of silk, a piece of vinyl, a piece of denim. It's just going to sew through it. That's brilliant. And we're not straining, we're not struggling. Not we're at all. And it just easily just went through there. And that is it. And because of that, that means the performance of the machine is going to give you a much better quality stitch. You know you're not straining. Obviously, my stitching is not as straight as it should be because I'm at an angle. I'm going to use that as my excuse. <laughs> but it is a solid stitch on there, so which is absolutely brilliant. So yeah, so that's the power and the feeding system we've got, and that's just how easy it is going from one to the other. We're not gonna fiddle, we're not playing, we're letting no. the machine do its work for you. And the great thing is, is you can see how consistent it is, because you can see this one, the back's, this was your back, wasn't yep, it? Yeah, So this, you can see the stitching there is exactly the same as the stitching there, even though you've got two massive layers of, web of webbing on it. Uh, and also that with that, incredible. again, you've noticed I didn't use the walking foot you didn't, or anything no. like that at all. If nothing, so, you took less pressure off by uh, taking the six more exactly on Exactly it, because again, it's where you start fiddling around where some people say, oh no, I must use a walking foot, I must use that. They start adding attachments or playing around because they're not 100% sure what they are doing. Exactly. They sometimes cause themselves more of an issue is because obviously with a walking foot on, you've got less clearance, so yes. it's a bit tighter sometimes. And, and, and I think like using that. a walking foot freaks everybody out in the first and place. And obviously because it's noisy, it yes. rattles sometimes yeah. on there. So with this one, so what we're going to do now, so even though... Before we do that, I'm just going to tell people about this. Now, we know Absolutely. this is a considered purchase. Obviously, you want to talk to family and friends, check the bank account, rob a bank, whichever you need to do, don't rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> but this is now going to be on the website permanently. Uh, well, until the special runs out, yes, so I'm not yeah. sure how long. But if you go onto our website, www.sewingstreet.com, you'll be able to see our YouTube pay, um, section in the middle. And then underneath it, you'll be able to see all the shows... Uh, from today, you'll see which will be at the top of the purchases, and then Debbie from yesterday, and then what I did on Monday, and going back all the way down. So you just scroll through. If you change, if you've been thinking about it and you've decided, yes, I want to, you can come back in a couple of days or weeks. Um, we are limited stock on it, so it's a case of don't take too long about it. We may not be able to bring it back, obviously, with this amazing exclusive bundle on it. Can we just talk through the bundle again, what yeah, we've got absolutely. here? So we've got an adjustable height free motion foot. So that's the adjustable height free motion there. the open there. toe, so great for stippling as well. So. And these are just the extras that are included with you. It's just to give you go through there. So we'll just go through them. I'm not going to show you all again. So we've got and our we've got plique the foot. Plique. Uh, so the clear fronted. We've got a bias binding attachment on there as well. We've got a low shank adapter, which allows you that, to use That, I think, is your best your feature on, on this there. bundle. So. so just to recap, the adapter shank, yep. for any low shank machine you've had previously, whether it be a Benina or a Janome no. Brother, Sorry, not sorry. Benina. We, we could, again, the European models do use different ankles and fittings sometimes. Yes. So sorry. some European models I exclude, but most of the the, the brothers, the genomes, the Japanese manufacturers out there will be able to use this. Foot. That's exactly. So you can pop this in, and you should be able to just test it first. Don't just assume you can do it. Um, and I assume your website would be able to tell you if there was anything that wouldn't work with it's it. It's more. You certainly the website generally wouldn't because right. the problem is uh, sometimes with pictures they look so close but of not course. quite. And I suppose as well there's a lot of um, 
not brand products for the want of a better exactly. description that you can give get us, really give cheaply. Us an, give us an email, give us a ring, just ring us absolutely fine. We will talk you through it. Oh, that's a lot of great. people send us a picture of an attachment. Obviously, with phones nowadays, it's so easy to of do. Of course. Send us a picture of it. Oh, yeah, that's we know that one. Bang. Brilliant. Can bang, people do that before they make the purchase? Of course they can. No, we're oh, here that's to help. Good. We, are, we, we want to help as well. We know, certainly with machines like this, they're very, they are considered purchase. And the more we can help, the more we advise, the more there is an understanding of actually, yeah, it's, gonna, it's more now justifiable because it's doing more than what I thought it would exactly. do. So, and the yeah. other thing is we've got our Facebook page which Hannah is, is looking at at the moment. So if any of you have any questions for Gary, he's here. He's here for two hours today. So if you've got anything that you can think of that I've perhaps not asked or, or gushed about, just you can then pop the questions on. And if we don't get through to him during the show and you're watching this on Catch Up on YouTube, then just make sure that you drop the question on and whatever we've got, we'll be able to forward on to Gary and then he'll be able to answer you after the time. You. No problem at all. Brilliant. Absolutely. Oh my God, right. I don't know what that's yeah, right, look at. Right, this is right. incredible. next on there? So um, what we're going to do, we're just going to turn it around now to the straight to a straight stitch machine. Perfect. So, so you're need how easy it is on there? So I need my attachments. Of course, my little sorry. Attachment box over there. No See, problem I'm tidying at all. everything yeah. away. <laughs> so uh, first of all, obviously we've got a plate. And of course, I just and threw everything in. We at have the end. got our feed system as well. So right, so this you do need to change when you change your it. plate. So we, we are not uh, just changing, say, the plate on. So this. how are you changing that? that you just, just lifting it up. up. Oh All my goodness! As soon as I've lifted it off, if you look at the machine, it has recognised what I've done. That is brilliant. Can I just do? Can we cross over to one thing which yep. I'm absolutely fastidious on? Is the maintenance and the cleaning. That is. This is another good thing with because this system this as well. You are very good at yeah. keeping your machine clean. That is beautiful. So, well, it is one of those things where if you haven't got a clean machine, obviously, the more fluff you've got in the top here, it's the not. longer you leave it, the more fluff's going to go into the machine. And the deeper it is in the machine, the harder it is. You're, you're not going to get it out. Yeah. You're going to have to then get the machine serviced. Of so, course. nothing wrong with cleaning your machine regular. Mm -hmm. Brush the fluff. And this is any machine. This is not just our machine. Obviously, maintenance is a home out there. Change your needle well, regular. It's like your car. Brush if you're not going to maintain out. your car, it's going to break. Exactly. It. So, if you, if you sort of look after it and keep it clean, and because I can now take the feed off, the, the plate off, I can then take the foot off just by pressing Perfect. the button. The feed system just lifts up on there, so it's nice and easy. That's the changeable feed. That <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna do that when I put the new oh, one on. Oh, of course, on. yes, yes, yes. So Sorry, what are we getting really if close you, to If that? you can see, that's a multi point seven, what they call a seven point teeth on there. Right. Three at the back, two at the side, and two at the front. So when it's going over the lumps and bumps, it will grip, it will perform. And the great thing is you don't need to remember all of this. You can watch this back on YouTube at any point. Absolutely. And again, oh, wow. the manual shows you in there as well. And if you notice now, the straight stitch has only got three points on there. Right. So it's much finer. So obviously it's not as harsh. It's not as heavy. Okay. But obviously because but it's, it's not... not that this was heavy in the first no, place. No, well, this is it. And because it's, <coughs> excuse me, not doing zigzag or anything like that, it doesn't need to hold then the fabric as, as sturdy on a wide pattern as it would do on a straight stitch. Okay. So to pop that back in... That literally then with two locating fingers just goes in and pushes in like so. Oh, no. It is that easy in, pop it up. Oh my out. goodness, that is so simple. <clears throat> what I will say as well, at home, as soon as you put this on, it will recognise that you're You've on straight stitch out. only. So it won't allow you to do other programs. And then once that goes in, as I say it literally pops in like so. And then so the simple. needle plate, the straight stitch needle plate, as you can see, it's now got three gaps instead of seven, seven gaps. Ah, it's now right. got a straight stitch round Do you know hole. I never knew that? Yeah. So this well, is because it. most machines won't change the feed. So when you change it to straight stitch, all you're doing is blocking a part on the needle plate. Part of the plate, things there. So the top the one in my hand, this one, is the straight stitch one. You can see there's only three of them. Where underneath, you can see there are seven holes. That was what we were talking about then with the, the seven hole feed. Thing. That's right. That so, is so clever. Now with that one, sorry, that one. I did then, do that right, didn't yeah, I? Absolutely, yeah. It was me. We're going to grab the wrong one. Well, I suppose you yeah. wouldn't break the machine because it wouldn't go on. It just wouldn't allow you to. So and then all we're going to do, it just goes in and then just... <gasps> Oh, that's so difficult. So that's oh, exactly even it. I can do that. <laughs> that is. Oh, and it's already picked it up. That's it. It's recognised. Can we leave that on? Oh, oh yep. Yeah. So now it's recognised on there. Straight stitch. Brilliant. On there. So it's happy. And now it's blanked oh, out the stitches trendy. I can't use. <gasps> oh, so, but you can still do that nine right, one. Yep, yeah, we can still do the reinforced straight can stitch. Can I keep pressing? Uh, yep, yeah, absolutely. Oh, so this is going through really page good. to page, and obviously... <gasps> and my favourite, I'm sorry, because there's nothing worse than wanting page five and having to go that way, but if you press it there, it's there. Yeah, you have not oh, got to go have through the menus everything. and screens. It is just there for you on that. And then what we're going to do is then combine, combine that then with the straight stitch foot. And obviously Perfect. the straight stitch foot, 
we can use the walking foot with. And it's quite easy because it's got a giant S on it. And that's exactly it. <laughs> so it's nice and easy to see. We can then line it up and then the foot will then just come down, pick oh, it up. Brilliant. So it's easy to just clip on feet. And then the jaw feeder, the walking foot. Will so we're going to put just, the walking foot on now. Oh, that really do, complex thing. That's it. So that literally just comes down from the back and then oh just clips goodness. into place like that. So every part of me is clapping that I never have to worry about a, a walking foot again. And then the nice thing with that is that you are using... I'm talking like I've got one, do you know? <laughs> I, can see, I can hear Andrew a, cringing in the corner at home going, no. This is it. If he's watching this now, he's thinking, Christmas is sorted out. That's not a problem. <laughs> oh, and it's Christmas in July. Oh, well, Christmas in July, exactly. <laughs> this is what we've got, isn't it? So, <laughs> so if we're quilting out there, so we've, got, we've got our walking foot built into so it So this as well. is just wadding with this two layers just on either couple side? couple layers of calico. Obviously, I've just, I've just uh, stitched these up just so there's Do you mind me leaning in like this? I'm trying to get do. a front no, row please seat do. Absolutely. So what we're going to do now, let's play with the machine. So what we're going to do, we know the, the thickness of this. Uh, um, we've been using much heavier fabrics and mm -hmm. things. Oh, yes, so of course. So I'm going to take it down and just... Oh, it's about four millimetres. Well, you were on four before beforehand. when you were doing all these amazing things on that. Well, you can tell it's sort of a bit more of my go-to. If I'm yeah. using extreme fine, about two mil or something like that would be fine. And the way you'd learn um, that is when you practice with the machine and then exactly. you'd figure out which height you'd want. You get, to, you get to understand. And obviously, just because I've set it now, I can still change it as much as I want. So Brilliant. I can still play around with it. But once I set it, you can feel that. It's obviously not going to hop up and down. It's just gliding underneath. Which is foot. what you want. So it's absolutely ideal for turning. Then what I'm going to do is... I've got the auto foot lift on. Yeah. I've got the auto thread trimmer on. Yeah. And then I can have it to auto back tack, reverse at the beginning and at the end Perfect. as well. Perfect. But I can then do it in for more for dressmaking, where it will give me a zigzag back tack, yes. or for patchwork and quilting, a straight stitch. So on the point, which so you obviously don't want the bulky stitches. So before oh, that I as love well. that. So we can actually then program in them now. So when I start sewing, then oops. Okay, all that. So now when I start sewing, it sews five <gasps> oh stitches on the spot. It then starts Does sewing. Does that mean I don't need to tie any ends No in. tying off. We have got oh. our tie on buttons here for manual doing oh. it. But why do that manually? Let the machine do it. So now when I stitch, so I stop. I've got but the set. locking stitch is about six or seven stitches. Nice. But this one does a like semi-automatic locking stitch it at the beginning and the end. It does five on the point Perfect. on there to, to lock it in. So I stop, turn. So for quilting, just playing the around. The great thing is, and that's a built-in walking foot. This side of it, and then it's just so simple, so easy. And you see, what I like about it was because it does so much, I don't think this is very noisy at all. Oh, this is the, the full metal chassis inside, so it's it's very solid, obviously, there's no vibration. No. You don't want vibration. But it's not loud. Because no. the other thing as well, sometimes when you're doing it, you're doing it all day, you do get a bit sort of bit well, like tinnitus that oh, it just won't stop. Exactly. This, you don't head. even hear it. Well, and also, you know, we're here, we've got microphones right next to us, and I think people at home can Indeed. see whether they can hear how quiet it is, how smooth it is on there. But uh, then when also, you if you share ends, a space with somebody as well, you don't want to be irritating them with the the noise of your machine. You won't even hear no, this. You say, or you sort of sometimes. <laughs> or if, like us, we end up having this in the one room and we've got the television in the same room, and it was like, I can't hear the That's television. That's exactly it. Sorry, yeah, darling. You, well, you say with that, you sort of. <laughs> Well, you've got that, that, you say that drone in the background. Exactly. And that is not we call nice that domestic there. bliss, don't yeah, well, we? <laughs> <laughs> is it when they kick you into the spare bedroom and say, there you go, or they use throw your, your whole in studio there, into another, another building. <laughs> so, without again touching anything, you've just seen the perfect finish on there, hasn't puckered, it's not obviously, which it shouldn't do. That no, is probably. incredible. And then just to start again. And again, sorry, I'm very much on yeah. the tension thing. Uh, no, please, that's, but the that's tension what you should is be. So that's the good performance on this. level on there. I honestly feel like a judge at a quilting show good. looking at all of these. But these are incredible, it's really good. So, and with then coping with all the different layers, again, just letting the machine. You don't need to do anything, you just, just put your foot down. Letting the machine do the work for you. So, five on the spot, and away we go again. So, stop. Pivot. And then what I say I did at the end, when I do get to the end of my seam, mm. all I do is tell the machine by pressing the dot button here. Which is the, yeah, the locking stitch button. Five stitches on the spot, stop, cut Perfect. threads, bring the foot up. And it's all done. And there you go, all done. The fact that I don't have to do ends ever again is a joy. So, and obviously that every time brilliant. I started sewing, I didn't pick down any bobbin thread up, it automatically does that for me when I start sewing. I know. So, it's, uh, just holds it, cuts it. 
you realize I'm saying this isn't my machine yet. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm saying well, that it is, is, but it's there. not. Yeah. <laughs> but you've also got an amazing thing. I was noticed the buttonholes. That's it. So yeah, can we have a little play on buttonholes? Because I've never made a buttonhole before. Right. So, but looking at all these different shapes and styles so of buttonholes, for different they're styles incredible. of buttonholes again. I'm hoping so. I'm not in Joe's way as I'm getting even closer on it. Because we've got a full sensor system on there That's as well, incredible. and it's not just a straight stitch. Can we do a four one nine? Am I being a pain? No, absolutely. We, we say pick some out. Let's do some buttons. So, so you need, need to, to change do... your foot now and the plate. Well, we need to change it back to a zigzag for utility. May I? You please do. Yep. <gasps> no. Yep, and that is. And on honestly, there. you all know if I can so do it, you, you do can that, do it. Oh, I've got it. So... See, this is the thing. The process I've of this. taking the walking foot off. So you just move that out of the way first. So then you've got a little grip there. You just pull, pull it, down. it down and release at the back. Oh my God, and that's it. That's so light. And that's how it is there. So it just but pops it up sucked completely itself in. out of the oh, way. Oh, I love it. It's not hanging down. It's not going to catch fabrics and bolts that's, there. I was a bit worried about that. Yeah, no, that puts it right out Oh my right goodness, and that is light. so easy to take out. There. So that's the straight stitch and one. And again, press the button to take the straight stitch foot off. Oh, yep, I'm going to take yep, foot off. There. I'm going to have to get used to all this when I get it home. Oh, what am I pressing? And the black just, one, there we go. That's it, just a little black button And there, we are so using, is it the A foot? Then that's the back to the utility foot. Perfect. Yeah, but and we're going to do the buttonhole, so we're going to be using the oh, buttonhole, buttonhole foot, foot on that one. Yeah, I'll let you pick that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> First buttonhole. Like, you guess which one it is out there, but... <laughs> This is the very first time I've done this, yep. which is why it's never going to work well. So the, oh my the gosh, back that's... goes down first. There we go, that's where my fault is. And then you push is. it on the front. That's it. Oh Simple my god. Oh, because you're slotting it under there. That's right, it, now my yeah. brain figured that bit out. So you hold your thread up. And then this time the left side goes in first. Left side And you will feed the hook and then just push it and it will climb it. That's it. Oh my goodness. Obviously, it's now recognised that. On the Do you come with the machine? You're on the other end of the phone, I'm, I'm oh, help lines. So we see people brilliant. at the shows and always asking, answering questions and that, so no problem there at all. Oh my so goodness. once we've done that, obviously we're happy with this all set. We're going to press the arrow key. And yes. That will then take it back to our normal utility. Right. I'm so glad you're here for the two hour special today. I well, can't just say, it's at least we get this. some say time to go through some different bits and pieces, which is great. So, so it's now 10 o'clock now. I promise we are going to bring you the air threading right. lock, um, overlocker. But I want to do a buttonhole. <laughs> Bear with me. That has gone very quick. I can't believe that's just shot. Doesn't it show? And we've not done a lot. So, so the button foot that you would need, right. that's not one of these. Nope. Right. So it you comes can tell with, I know so much about feet. These are the extra attachments so yes. on there. And again, these extra attachments are very uh, uh, an exclusive special to Sewing Street. They come with your bundle. We went through it earlier in the hour. And there is £200 worth of it's extras It's just over £200 it? worth of extras with Gosh, it on there. That so is a really good deal. What right, we're so do, what are we looking at here? Uh, can you guess, oh, this is it, guess the buttonhole? No, I'm never going <laughs> to no. get this right. So let's go on here. So let's go into the buttonhole section. So first of all, you do get your little touch pen here as well. <gasps> I know with my fingers a bit yeah, sensitive, I struggle with them as especially well. if it's quite warm in here. As, and then all you do is choose like your decorative Oh, that one. looks far too complicated. No, it's not at all on there. Right. So, so it's an E foot. An E foot. And look, but first of all, don't just look at the letter. Look at the shape. Look at the picture of it. I feel like I'm if being you, tricked. If, if, yeah. Now, if you look at the picture of the foot on here, it's quite a big block, isn't it? It is. <sighs> <laughs> That's huge! Oh my gosh! You can yeah. tell I've never done a buttonhole. That's, That's the, the button. That's I'm the looking at all of these. And this is what I'm using. <laughs> that's incredible. That's, that's for our machine. So. Oh wow! What's got a hook? What's got yeah, that? Well, with a lot of machines, what they do, and to be fair, a one-step button hole is nothing unusual now. When you put the button in the back, it will measure it and just go bang, 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 and do four sides yes. and measure the button. Full stop. Right. Job done. So with ours, it takes it one step further. It's like the industrial styles because when a lot of people, when they see button holes and they have button holes demonstrated, they get two pieces of fabric, stick a button hole in it, and go, "Here you go." How okay. we tell me a button band with two layers of fabric? It doesn't exist. No. It's usually got three, four yeah. folds, plus you've got interfacing linings Indeed. on that. So you're going over several different thicknesses on there. And then the problem with some machines, when they don't censor it, when you get to those lumps and bumps, it either misses stitches or it adds stitches or takes stitches away. So you're left with gaps. So you're never going to get a perfect buttonhole. So with this, it will censor the <gasps> thickness of fabric it's going no. over. So it, this actually looks a lot more complex than what it is, but when I show you, you see how easy dream. it actually is. This is incredible. Is. So what we're going to do is first of all take our button. We've got some little little button there. You are not putting the button in it. The button just goes into the back in there. This will take up to about 30 mil, just over an, sort of an inch and a quarter button. Right. Automatically. I can do a manual override as well, so I'm doing extreme large Look, buttons. Look, you've blown my mind like already. So let's pop that on. So 
that will So it's that little metal bit in the middle that you just so we've got the normal to. attachment uh, with the most clip-on feet. So I'm just going to line that up, and then that will just clip it into place like so. That's incredible. I'm I feel like I'm ruining Joe's day because I'm so close to all of this. There, this say uh, that. So that you can sort of see how easy it is just to fit on there, and then the jack plug, the that will then just plug into the side of the machine. Like so. That is brilliant. On there. So once once that's now set, your machine will then measure the button. It was obviously going to censor the, the fabric for me. Right. I'm actually going to take the foot control out at this Fair point. Fair enough. I'm also then going to put in my auto thread trimmer and tie off. Oh, yes, because so you had that press set for the previous This is it, so setting. I'm happy with that now. Oh, so you're doing the same settings that you I'm had before? I'm doing exactly the okay. same settings as I did before because uh, with the buttonhole, again, I want it to sew on the spot. I don't want it to sew forwards fair and enough. back, so I'm quite happy. But to be fair, that would have automatically done that anyway. Even if I had it oh, on right. zigzag, it would still only sew it on the spot. So okay. it knows on some things. So, obviously, this one's quite... It's a reinforced buttonhole. It's more of a decorative style on yes. here. Yes. So let's... Put a bit of quilting on there. Obviously, making bags and things like that. This is the sort of buttonhole you'd probably you do on here. You are not putting a buttonhole on that. So, to be fair, this, this is quite flat and straightforward. So, all we're going to do. You <laughs> have blown my so mind. I'm just going to pop that under, and it's going in between the two layers. So, you've. Yeah. Like so. Right. Then, foot down. The light is green. If it wasn't happy, that would be red. Right. Just one thing, you've got a red button there. Does that mean your bobbin's running out? It is running out, but oh, the difference is... Now I know it's I running out. Do, but I haven't for? reset it. Fine. So it's measured it from before I did the bobbin. Because you know that was one of my favourite features exactly of the machine. Yeah, so I've been so watching it the whole time. But I do know there is some thread in there because I didn't reset that. But I could just do oh, that no, you're now fine. and reset but it But that's how you would here. know if that's there was something... Was, so that it'll, Oh, look at you. Put it it's now I've gone back in. It's now gone back in again. So if you just... You can just set the speed. I'm going to set it to about three quarters so it doesn't go too fast for people at home to see. The hair and the tortoise on yeah. there. Just press start. So it does reinforce this, because this is the reinforced cross-stitch one. It's then giving you the cross-stitch either side, and then back up the reverse side. So it's a bit more of a decorative style button yeah. hole, this one. Then you can finish it off. It will then stop for me, tie off on the spot, cut the threads, finish, lift the foot. You can just take it out now. Oh my goodness. And there you have fully automatic button hold to the size of your and button. And that has measured the button at that the back to do the stitch. That exact size now on there. Can I take the button out and yep, just show absolutely. people? Yep, absolutely. So uh, with... When I get that out. That just slides. Sorry. Like so. No, down, no problem there. You can see that that's perfect size. That so is so, so, so clever. Oh my gosh! But you've say button hold on something like this, because it is just a flat fabric, is very, very easy. If I take that button back now and pop that back in the back, then the big difference what about to do? is let's horrible fabrics. Chiffon! So, what we're going to do, I oh, know we had the decorative, so it's Who quite a heavy. Button hole in chiffon, that must be so hard. Uh, most people won't because of how difficult, but obviously things like bridal and things like that, you might want button bands and things like that. What one do you want? So, um, because it's quite fine, so we go back a page on here as well. So then we've got different styles of standard buttonholes. Yeah. But for the fine one, I do like the double end oval. That's The double round end on there. So it's set the end of them for me. I you have a personal favourite of a buttonhole. Oh, I love that. It's just, I can see myself having one too. Well, because a lot of people, when they sort of say, why do I need those buttonholes? Well, do well, you, you don't. use different fabrics? Then oh, why very not good use, point. Why not use like different bags. buttonholes? So, and as you say, with bag making and things like that now, it's so big where for soft furnishings, tab top curtains, anything like that, they're all done with buttonholes now. They are. So then just press start again. Oh my gosh, look how fine that is. I promise I will show you in a few seconds. <laughs> and it's so quick as well. Well, and we've only got it set on what, half three quarter speed at the moment. So obviously that we can whack brilliant. it up and just let it do it, but so it just gives it time for people to have a look and see how it's producing. Oh again, my it will cut the finish lift and That's then just fantastic. take it off. fantastic. And I'm going to take the button out the back as well to yep. show. There okay, go. there. Just, that is so fine and beautiful, that. Okay, it hasn't puckered, it hasn't pulled. Obviously, it hasn't pulled the fabric in That's at all. It's kept it perfectly flat on there, which the that button is fantastic. Should be. Then just one, one other quick... I'll show you on yep. there as well. 
This is a rayon silk mix, a suit fabric, obviously really nice quality fabric oh, that's beautiful. on there as well. And this is where if you're going to do a, obviously a button band on something like this, yes. you've got your fold, double fold, so you've got different thicknesses and it's yes. going over on there. But you say mean, if you had an interfacing in there as of well, course, yes. then on that. So you've got like three to five to two thicknesses yes. on there. So different this is where a lot of machines will struggle when mm -hmm. going over that. So what we're going to do is pop that back under, again just into Oh, I think you've got uh, it under, under the, there. The thank you. There. So, that just so the plate's got a hole underneath it that it's obviously letting the needle through as That's it's going it. through. So because I don't have to use this if I don't Drop want to, the so the foot down, then what we're going to do is just change the button hole before. Because sure. what we're going to do, because it's obviously a jacket or something like that, we can go into a keyhole button hole. So, so I go to you? page two and then the keyhole button hole for oh, 410, 411, so depending on how you want that. Perfect. So with that, it's set it to point 0.4, so yeah. we're quite happy with that. Those happy. settings I'm all right with And again, if there. you wanted to change that, you would just do you that You can fine-tune it all on there, so no problems at all. And then if you just press start. So this actually does the eyelet first. With a lot of buttonhole machines, they do half and half, so that's why it comes off over a slight off shape right. or something like that. Because it does the full eyelet first, it's going to be round. And also, Detailing going over beautiful. the layers of fabric... Oh my gosh, I've taken the button out. Oh, so we can do a longer buttonhole. Yeah, Sorry. that's right. It'll still do it, because it will do a longer buttonhole. So button that's hole. now set to the gap... To the gap we've left the, it with. What we've left it yeah. with. So when I did that, I pulled the button out, and I just pulled the whole thing out. And I'm looking at this and thinking, gosh, that's very long, and I'm holding the button in my hand. <laughs> exactly. What could possibly go wrong on live television? <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's my error, not Gary's. That so, but again, it just proves so obviously brilliant. it doesn't matter at all on there. And again, it doesn't matter because you've just got the length of that. Yeah. But look at the cleverness on that. And look, imagine this button was bigger than it is. This is incredible. I'm so finish. glad you're with us now for two hours because I think we're going to need to switch well, over we just to can't the Yeah, locker. absolutely. I've so, had so much well, fun with us. Absolutely fun indeed. So indeed. thank you very much for that. And I say, there's a lot more it can do, but hopefully next time we get some more time as well. So that would be good. So today, this is obviously a limited number with us, and we've got the £200 extra feet special um, included in the price, and you can see that's on our screen. It is obviously considered purchase. It will be on our website for a couple of weeks, so we do have limited stock. So do have a look at it, research it, maybe contact the Juki Centre if you've got any questions, especially the thing about the feet. We've got this beautiful adapter for your feet of other machine. There's lots to consider because it's a lot of money, but it is a phenomenal machine. And Andrew, I think we have a new baby. <laughs> I'm going to get into so much trouble. This is absolutely brilliant. So we've got the overlocker after the break. And um, don't worry, the sound is not broken. We are still here. It's just that the fact we're getting that all sorted. And this is what we're looking at soon and I can't stop stroking it. So we will see you all in a few seconds. We're just going to reset. Again, look at our website, www.sewingstreet.com. And any questions, send it through on Facebook. See you in a bit.
And welcome back. Good you may back. have only just joined us, so we've at the middle of a, a two-hour special. We've had the incredible Juki machine, which is now my new baby, and we're about to do air threading overlocking. So I've never done anything to do with an overlocker at all. Right, I okay. came to you at Duxford uh, on Friday. Yeah. That was the first time I've even seen an overlocking action. But this I hear is really, really clever because the threading on an overlocker. Everybody who has an overlocker who's spoken to me said oh, threading is a nightmare. But apparently this one you don't have a problem Absolutely. with. Well, the, sort of the number one you hear when you say people with about an overlocker is, oh, don't want one, just don't want the whole to thread. Can't use them, can't thread them. Don't uh, that way. This solves all of that problem. Full air threading system on there. So, so what does air threading mean? Basically, it means it will just do it for you. <laughs> so that's the good thing. Sold. <laughs> Absolutely. That's it. Full stop. That's it. <laughs> so no, with, with an overlocker. Overlockers are fantastic. Obviously, so what do overlockers do? This is it. Being a quilter, obviously. Yes. Overlocking quilters do use, but it's slowly coming into it. It's more your dressmaking, alterations, soft furnishings. Mm -hmm. But quilters are slowly coming in there. But it will cut, seal, and finish at the same time. It will make your life a lot easier. It will give you a professional finish. It will actually save you time. Right. That's the one thing overlockers will do for you, um, because it will do three operations in one. Where with your sewing machine, pair of scissors, and that you'd have to do things several times. Of course. So therefore, it will cut a third of the time out of it for you. So overlockers are fantastic. And this special that we've got on today, this is nine ninety five, and with that comes uh, ten thousand meters. Ten thousand meters of thread. We're just you putting with it get to start playing. You may not get in this colour, but it will be a neutral colour that you've got. So you're going to get four cones, one for each of the. I'm assuming one for each of the slats Absolutely. over there for you to practice with. So with and yeah. obviously now overlockers, I understand that there's obviously a huge amount of discrepancy between price prices. Yeah. So why? Tell me about why this one is the, is well, it looks like the top of the tops. Well, with our, with ourselves at Juki, what we do is we pride ourselves in not just ease of use but performance level as well. Right. So even when you start looking at overlockers, and obviously overlockers now are getting cheaper and cheaper, the same as everything out there. Of course. They're being made cheaper and cheaper, and as you expect, the cheaper ones will do a job. But this is where we hear the frustrations. This is when you people sort of, when they moan about the threading, moan about them breaking right. threads, not coping with certain fabrics. It's basically the overlocker's not quite good enough then for what jobs they're doing. Right. And there, with, with something like this, this is where, again, like with our sewing machine, it's a considered purchase. But once yes. you've got it, you buy it once, you buy it right. Well, that's also what I've you, heard, is when people buy exactly. a really good overlocker, it's there, it's not just for years, no. for decades. Because it's been funny, the ones that are a fraction or sort of a quarter of this price, realistically, I could, my background, I've been in the industry over 30 years now. Right. Uh, Juki, we've so been... So just, a, it's a phase thing, it, really. 30 it, years it, it, just absolutely. a little tiny whim. Just, yeah, yeah, it's sort of just uh, sort of time to move on soon. And, and this is where sewing machines have just hooked me in for some reason on there, where I initially started as an engineer. I, that's what Oh, I, well, that's why it works, because the engineering and seeing how it all works exactly, and making sure yeah. it's a great product. So I come, well, I started before school. I come out of school. Give me a job as as where I was That's working amazing. at the time in a re in in that side where I was moving sewing machines. I was literally just carrying boxes at the oh, age wow. of 14, 15, slave labour, pound <laughs> a pound a day, and all that sort of thing. You were well paid. Uh, I know, you didn't get that, that much back in, in Africa. those days. <laughs> <laughs> no, we really no, didn't. No, I can guarantee that. Is it? So then it developed where I got into the engineering side. And as you say, that five minute thing of just earning some money when I was at school, 30 years later, the passion and love is still there. Oh. And it's, it's something that has hooked. But it's something that's hooked where it's gone two ways. Where as an engineer, I just love performance. And I love a machine that does a job and does it well. I just don't like something built at a price, stack high, sell cheap, just just to turn something over. That, that's not my idea. But as well, and that's tying into the whole throwaway culture well, as well, where you're getting something really cheap for a short period yeah. of time, whereas if it is a considered purchase. This has got a how many year warranty? A two year warranty, it? again, with, with this machine. And it's, and it's one of those things where people just sort of they go out and they buy something at a price. We all have price points, we, of we look at. Um, but there's being realistic as well when we're buying something, you think, well, do I need to change that in a year time, two years time? Is is it going to make my life easier? Am I just going to buy it, sit it in the cupboard because I can't use it? So there's a lot of different sort of factors there. So sometimes then when you start piling those on and you think, oh, actually, it's stronger. The blades are the stronger. It's easier to use. It, it will allow me to use bigger selection of fabrics. Of course. Then it justify it gets it justify easy. It does because this uses a multitude of different fabrics. Absolutely, and this is the point. So it's not only just 
get on and go to set up, it's get on and go whatever it's fabric you. I want to put through. And this is what we like to do at Juki as well, is because like with our sewing machine, I can pick up 10 different machines, they will all give me three, 400 different stitches, and they all do it exactly the same way. I don't necessarily have an issue one way, uh, one way or the other, whether it's sending ju sort of Juki or another brand. But when it actually comes to performance sewing, this is where I come to Juki more than I do with the other models. And obviously, and how many years have you been with Juki? Uh, well, we've now been Juki UK now for coming up for 25 years. Gosh, again, um, so, oh, yeah. Really. <laughs> but a lot <laughs> of people sort of say, who are Juki? Um, and uh, Juki themselves say, biggest manufacturer of sewing equipment in the world. They make over eight, uh, sort of 40% of the world's manufacturing machines. So they Gosh. are absolutely huge out there. So they've always been Well, there. I suppose as well, doing manufacturing machines, they've got yeah. to be reliable, otherwise you wouldn't keep getting oh, the business. Abso absolutely. And then taking that technology and putting it into a domestic mm. machine. Because just on the machine that we've seen now, you can tell there's a lot of industrial features on it that's, that's it. put in a really finessed way. And without the gimmicks. So and that's exactly. the thing. That's one thing you just don't But you do want. have good gimmicks, for the want of a better word, that yeah. are functional and what you really really want as and a exactly as you were saying like the sort of threading the machine the needle thread on there the air threading on there exactly. it's something you the do counter. every time the bobbin <laughs> counter on there which you love <laughs> unless there's not one on here but you can physically see your threads so so let's matter. just talk through what we get with this so you're going to get the machine we're going to demo everything on that now you get um, a good one a manual. instruction manual one well, instruction sorry, manual we've got two because we've got the German one as well there's a German one in there for some reason I don't know you've got these little things which I'm assuming are your tops they're, for they're that they're small caps you also then get cone holders these all come off as so well. if you're using smaller spools, would you put them through those? That, so we're using a thousand meter reels, or, uh, two, two, and, sorry, two and a half, two and a half thousand meters on these particular ones. Mm -hmm. So if you're using the cones, they go on. And then oh it my stops goodness! Them from around. Do you know that I've always Li thought you put those over the thread? Ah, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's what now. those ones are for. That but a little so tip brilliant. for you as a home as well. Again, it's not just our overlocker. If you find your cone is a bit too big, so it's still rattling, mm -hmm. on that, put it on upside down. Oh my squash word! Squash it. Not going to move at all. So just a little. And tip. of course, being plastic, it'll come back and yeah, forth. Yeah, it will just then come back out again. <gasps> that's so, so clever. Yeah. So that's what we do. Those and a DVD. It's a proper DVD, it's a DVD for your, your player, it's not a CD for your, your computer. So it is a good visual to sit there and have a little look through. And also, we've got, then I'm just going to set it up this time with 1,000 metre reels. So, so, I'm, just, so I'm guessing this would really help you, because this will show you absolutely everything from start to finish. Good visual on there, literally good step visuals. by step on the threading, the adjustments on there. But as well as obviously having the DVD, if you look on the front of the machine itself, yes. we've got an instruction manual there as well. Oh my goodness. So instead of, obviously we've got our, our paper manual, which is great, it's not yes. a download or anything like that, but on the actual machine, I can actually go through the menu and yes, it's got 15 different stitches on the front, and to oh be fair, goodness. that's the same as with most overlockers out there as well. Because the last thing you visual. want to be doing is buying one of these and leaving it in the box and not using oh, it. Well, so absolutely. this would make things a lot Some easier Some people just well. don't like reading the instructions, to be fair, I'm, I'm the same myself. I, I won't deny. I, I like to play. I won't deny. I'll probably <laughs> pop the DVD <laughs> yeah. in first and then read and the then instruction little, manual if there's something if there that I'm interested If you need to go back in, on, yeah. that's it. But hopefully with a machine, um, it should be intuitive enough that you can get on and just start yes. using it without having to fiddle and play. They are there to help, obviously, good guideline but obviously on here on the front of the machine as well you do get your instruction manual so I can scan through and then ask it then choose oh a particular stitch and then ask it how I set the machine Gosh. so it just gives you that full instructions built Brilliant. into the machine as well which is great and the great thing with this is you don't need to remember all of it it's all going to be on YouTube so if you go onto the website you'll be able to see it on the main part of the screen otherwise if you look on YouTube Sewing Street is the channel subscribe to it and you'll always be able to refer back to what Gary's saying I've just picked up the warranty certificate on yep. this I don't think we covered the warranty on this one uh, even if we did full two year full two, two year warranty, two year warranty well. that fantastic that yeah, so there's no problems that. that's just Brilliant. So that's just its birth certificate. Well, exactly. <laughs> it well, is, that is again, it. With ourselves at Juki, I think we're about the only domestic manufacturer. When we build an overlocker, we oil bath run them. Basically, what that means, before, what we, actually, that mean? before we actually add the stitching components to the machine, yes. all the moving bearings, joints, run, are literally run for a couple of hours in a bath of oil to penetrate no. it. And that's why people say, why are these so smooth? Why are they so quiet? And same as with our machines as well. It's that one step extra on the engineering. I've never even heard of that, and I never no, thought of it, but now it, that you say it, an what a clear idea. It's an industrial technique. Engines do it on cars, anything where there's metal, metal, moving, moving. If you've got machines that are dry joints and noisy, mm. they're obviously it's going to damage them in the long run. So oil bathing any metal on metal 
is it's going to make it give but, it a, a long life. But that's where the synergy absolutely. between, I suppose, having the manufacturing side and exactly. then putting it into the domestic, into the domestic works domestic together side as well. So it's certainly on that side of it, which is absolutely brilliant. <coughs> so also, you get to play with the machine, so that just slips onto the front of the machine as well. So it's a nice big catch beam there. Daylight lighting, white light, so there's no heat or anything there Brilliant. as well. So this all nice said functions. Was to catch all the bits that you all cut off, bits that cut off that was going there. So I just take that off, and now when I open the front flap, <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> the excitement Ooh, inside there inside. as well. So I'm going to rotate this. Yeah, with Joe. Uh, let's uh, move this around a little bit Gosh. so we can do that. Well, the good thing is this: is you can tell when your machine hasn't been cleaned. Yeah, and oh, look how clever. But is. one little extra as well, when you do want to clean it, oh, no. I can just open oh, it up so I can goodness. just blow the fluff through. So maintenance side, very, very I've simple. I've never seen side. one of these. Uh, to but to know inside. that you can do this. Can you do this on all of your machines? And Well, with all of our overlockers, yeah. They Brilliant. can completely open up the front side just to blow it through. But that's such a good so thing. So it's nice and easy. Well, this, this is it. You shouldn't have to keep on getting your machi machine serviced every 12 months, two years, three years, or whatever. It's so, cost you a lot of money. Yes. You should be able to look after you yourself. On of there. course. So when it's as simple as... So how would you keep this clean? Out. What would you recommend as your maintenance on this? With an overlocker, it's constantly cutting. Right. Or, or can constantly be cutting. So you will get a lot of build-up of fluff and things right. like that. So certain things. If, I, if I'm cutting things like vinyl and things, obviously there's no lint or fluff of that. Of course, that, so of course. But if you're doing issue. denim or cotton. Cutting or denim, fleece or, or anything like that. Or like that. Is, it's yes. going to leave fries and that. So it will build up inside, but you didn't just But it's really it easy because I'm assuming you just use You get a little cleaning brush with the machine. Wonderfully provided brush. And it's just there in front of you. And just go through and sweep out it just reminds you just to do it often. You can't overdo it on there. But obviously, like with your sewing machines, the deeper fluff goes into the machine more of a problem it can of cause course. at a later date so just keep it brushed out oh that's brilliant so and then that just closes oh it just on there. oh that is so it's smooth. again very positive it's oh. locked into place so you can just feel that side of it there as well it's not is it is it not oh it i did is. that wrong because <laughs> so i'm just doing it too slowly over to that's it, on so that's there. great because it just slides to the side and then you plop it down and then to put it back you just pop it back in on like there. that and then that one just closes and that literally just physically oh, and keeps it place. and a nice feature that we've got on here as well if any of the sides are open the mm. machine will not work it's a safety feature on there because obviously you've got that a lot of moving components yes, you don't in want to be hurting yourself um, this last time is sort of you in there you're fiddling around you're cleaning your dog or cat comes up and sits on the foot control and suddenly before you know it it's just there taken off point. you don't yes. want that at all and I notice so, here you've got a no oiling sign. Yep. So nothing in there because I'm assuming that's where, this is where the, where the magic's is. about that's to happen. Exactly it on there. So, so what we're going to do uh, is obviously just thread get it. it threaded up and yep. how easy it is. So I've put a gold thread on because obviously we can see it. So it's nice and it's going to stand out quite a lot on there. But also showing the dukey performance, the quality again. I'm going to shove a load of fabric through it like we did before and see what you think of that. But threading, first of all, an overlocker. is this little lever here. Yes. You're going to flick it up. Right. I'm going to turn the hand wheel over and the machine will just lock itself. Okay. Obviously, you can see I'm not looking. So I'm assuming that's releasing the mechanism to lock that. Exactly. Fine. So but basically, if I now move this, you can see, if you watch here, there's these tubes which will move left and right. I don't know if you can see those tubes. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, that's the threading. So that's what it's engaging, is all the oh, threading Oh, right. Tubes. Okay, so that's out, it wouldn't thread. That's it. Fine. It would just then pop the threads out in front. And also, what that means is I can thread the machine in any order. A lot of overlockers, you have to thread oh, them in the correct order. Right. Some people don't realise this until they've actually broken the thread several times and thought, actually, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> also, if you have to unthread the machine um, or change the colours, you've got to completely unthread it and re-thread it back up again. Right. If, a, if a reel runs out or if I want to re-thread just one colour, I can just re-thread that without unthreading and re-threading. Okay. So it's making life easier. So what I'm going to do is just grab the first thread, purely because it's here. It's the first thread. So over the top, there's a little metal hook at the back, there's a little guide I just right, hook behind. Yes. I'm going to go just down through the tensions, through the guide, and it then just hooks behind. Obviously, I am going to do this at a You're doing slight it down, awkward angle, front. and Online that's it. <laughs> Why don't you take the space well, here and you can no, it I'm, I'm going to sort of try to do it from here, just to, to show it is not that difficult. It's just that first little clip I need to make sure it's hooked now, in. Now, every video I have watched of yours, <laughs> yeah. or other people who've done it, they've got these amazing tweezers. That's May it. I? Do these come standard? They, they are in the front oh, flap there. Fantastic. So they are there. Really nice little curved angle, not too big. They grip well. Because I have to say, um, the, the, I tried to watch all of these beforehand to see what was coming up. This is it. But not to watch too much to spoil it. But the, uh, those tweezers do look like they're absolutely and they've, got, they've got little finger grips on right. as well, so which is nice. And all I'm going to do is just poke the end. Then all I'm going to do is it's just about a centimetre, half an inch. Right. just goes into the hole, all okay. like so. And then the air on button, if you just press that for a couple of seconds. You know I'm going to squeal, don't you? <gasps> press it again, no. a, bit, a bit longer. Oh, oh, and I caught it on the handle because it. it was an idiot. And then press it again, just to get the other tail through. There you go. 
That's your first loop of threaded. No. How it easy? How quick is that? You, be that you easy. can't. It is, and you can't get it wrong. <laughs> and say so that's the first that time is, you've well, touched you can, an over. Well, you can because I, did, I didn't press it for long enough. Because I'm cautious. I'm trying. Well, I'm worried. As, I'm constantly worried I'm going to break something when I break and it. And that's the thing about it. You can't because it's I not even in the wrong order. I need to be less delicate, don't I? Exactly. Just confidence. Just go for it. Okay. Can I try the second? Now I have never threaded an overlocker, but I'm going to follow what you said. For you. So doing that. Yep. Um, and I'm going under this little hook there. Yeah, so it just clips underneath. Live television, what tensions. could possibly go wrong? Am I putting this in the same one as that one? And then, no, we're putting it into in the, the second so, one. If you look on top, we've got blue. There's a little blue triangle yes. there. Yes, oh, right, so, so I'm going the blue, the blue triangle, triangle there down. With the magic the tweezers. tweezers in there. So you need to hold it quite sort of but foot in the, at the end so you know you're going to just got a good angle and pointing that in. Hopefully. This is all my years of threading my lovely little long arm. Watch it on TV. Got to you click your heels there. three times for this. Sorry, this is definitely me being cack handed. <laughs> See, typical thing, no pressure. Live yeah, television. On live TV is absolutely fine. And I suppose if you actually use the tweezers that you recommended rather oh, than no. your fat fingers. That's it. And then yeah, just press the button. And voila, oh, there you go. Oh, I love it. So that's your oh two. Oh my god, so that's come out of a different hole. Yeah, so you've got your two loopers. You've got your upper and lower looper right. on there. So that's why a lot of people sort of either don't thread it in the correct order because you've got to make sure the loopers thread the correct way, um, but also why they find it more tricky because there's more holes more and holes guys to, to thread through. through. So on that. So, right, before we do the two needles, there's just one thing we have to do. Yeah. And that is. Put the threading lever down. Of course, because you've now done those two we've sections. We've done those two. Right. And on the side of the hand wheel, if you notice, there's a little black mark yes. and there's a little box. So if you line those two up. Can we rotate that so we can show? On there, so, so we can see that. So you can see there. at the moment, we've got that there. You can just see, I'm going to use your trusty. Yep, yeah, and the three You've got a little there. notch there. So if you line so that if we rotate that towards it. And that's it. Into, oh no, so back I've of, gone too far. That's it, just in there. So you're lining it up with that dot yeah, so there. Anywhere within that square, so it gives Perfect. you a bit of tolerance. Basically, what that's doing is putting the needles in the highest position. Because the ah, machine's got needle threaders built into it, and virtually all needle threaders, the needles have to be in the highest position for them to work. So if Perfect. it's not lined up, the needle threaders are not going to be lined up. Now, these threads that are coming through here, don't need to worry about but them. Do I put I, them in? No, I'm just going to leave them there for there? a minute on there. Perfect. So then what we can do is just take our next thread. This time it's the green square, so oh, we can just follow the colour codes on that. So they're the same at the back. This is a little guide you clip behind. And um, I think I saw the green one. I'm going down that yes, one it, there. Yes, through that guide there, under up, that. Up there. And then up now, I have there. never, ever done this before. And there. Right, so the needle thread. Well, I've never made clothing before. No, I've always just assumed that an overlock is for clothing. For garment, and that's it. So I've now put that through there. So what we're going to do now is this is the needle thread lever here. Oh, my gosh. And it then will flick from left to right. So this would so be the right hand one. The moment we're doing the, the, green the one. right one, the green one. So then we flick it over then to the right, and then that lever there will actually lock itself into position. So I'm not using both hands, I'm not lining it up, it will right. just lock itself into position on there. And I know it's right because you've got the picture there with the needle on the right with and the green. And showing you it's the right so one. So we've got a, a loop here Little for the right guide. one. That's it. So that just um, goes into the wrong way there. Around. Right. And then what I do with this thread, if I just show you on this please, one. Please, please, please. And then all I do with that is that thread will just click. Then it just literally onto the needle thread like so. If you push that lever up. Oh my goodness. That's your first needle threaded. I can't believe I've almost air threaded an uh, overlock. So message. that's your third thread, number that's three incredible. done. So then all we do now is then number four. Do you want that thread as well? No, that's all right. I can leave that there for a minute. So we just take our last one. So again, just over the top, through the guide at the back. Well, I have to say, I'm doing this on live television. So what and so it's the possibly first go wrong. time you've, you've looked First at time it. I've done it, and you can oh. see how quick this is already. It's just got to go across. I think I've did something just wrong. Right, it's just in the, the other guide there. Oh, that's I put fine. it in the wrong yeah, one. It's right, just see. in the guide, so that's in so there. So am I doing that exactly and the same exactly way, same. But over the top up. one? That's it. Brilliant. And then I know that I'm going to the left hand one. Yep. I'm hoping my head is not in the way of the camera. I apologize. Oh, I think I've just caught that in the right hand one as well. That's it, on there. And then your lever, so we just lock that into position. So that's on the left-handed one already. And that's it, and now all and you I'm do... I'm putting that just across there. You can feel a little click just as it catches the hook for the needle threader. 
Oh, there, yes. And then just pull the lever up. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, and, I'm in! And there you go. Oh! You have just threaded the overlock. That is so simple. Simple. But now everybody's easy. told me how difficult it is. Not with us. Is ours. that just with this machine? Well, again, with the, ma the manual threading ones where you are physically click, 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 go round, you're Fair in enough. the right order, you've got to follow the colour codes. So, no, by far, with this that, is the easiest order. That must be worth its weight in gold in itself. Also, with that system as well, there's no pump bellows, uh, sort of rubber parts mm -hmm. in there which can perish on there it's there's it is purely air there's no moving parts in there Perfect. it just we've obviously been supplying these overlockers now for many many years we have not changed we've had no need to change that design of it at all where does the air come from the mo well basically little little bit on the side well, I know it sucks it in from, from one somewhere. that's what i'm just thinking <laughs> that's it so, that so it's is, literally just taking in from one end pushing it through and, and, pushing oh, it through. and that's why there's, there's no, put an no image no of a little fairy in there just whooshing them through on there but no well, that was really simple and so now what do we do all i do i'm just going to move it a little bit closer of course please I'm just going to wind it over by hand. I've got all four threads, and I just oh, three. three. I'm going to take all four threads. Thank you, <laughs> and then just wind it over by hand oh, a couple of times, cool, like so. So does it matter that those two are twisted across, or are they meant to be? No, nope, at the moment it doesn't matter there because what I'm going to do is get rid of all of those oh, tails. Oh goodness! Where, again, a lot of machines won't allow you or doesn't like you doing that, but I'm not worried with my one. So I'm going to pop that under. Oh, and get your own little bin. Yep, you get the catch tray, which then just sits on the front. So you can just take everything through. And then what we can do is it doesn't matter then what piece of fabric we, we pick up. So on the side of is the machine, th this is velvet. <gasps> we like to gain those, those fabrics where people, well, just people don't like to them? touch. Well, well, I also, suppose as well. It's where they get put off on their own sewing machine because they know there's certain fabrics their machines may not like. Yeah. So things like velvet and that which can put your sewing. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. So even tension, number four, so we don't have to touch that at all. And, as and say, it's for the standard tension to test. Absolutely. To see if that works. So, okay. it so basically, it's like a sewing machine, it doesn't matter what, you just then adjust it if you, you need to. Well, this is what I'm going to prove that you don't have to. Oh, uh, so if, you, if, you know, if, if for some reason you've messed around with these, so they're not, maybe because for different types of finishes, I can play with these all day. Right. But for even tension, you I just then put it on all on number four, Perfect. and that will then give me my even tension. And there's there. a little notch on each one there. Yeah. If people are looking to see where we are, that you're lining all the numbers. So fours it's easy up enough to just to line up on there, Perfect. so which is easy. And then you now, cut if you it. want to rotate this towards you to make it easier, oh, so I can leave it that angle oh, there. Yeah, because the machine will just the take you through. So you know. I haven't got a problem. That is brilliant. <laughs> just move those out of the way. So your cutting blade is here, so that it's in line with the edge of this plate. Right. So at the end of the day, anything past that point is going to go in cut the, off. Right. It's going to go in this little bit. Exactly here. it. So we're going to put that under. Foot down. <laughs> And literally away we go. Stitch them from the side so I can adjust that order I'm sewing as well. Oops. That is very clever. Down to fabric to be. That's because I'm in your way and you're not able to hold the fabric. Just... We're having a wonky scene because yeah, I was be in the way. a wonky scene on this one, but. I... Live television, what could possibly go wrong? Is, hang on, hang on, hang on. So when you come to the end, you just keep stitching just and stitch then take it, it to the front to sex at all? Exactly it. Just, uh, just take it round in front of the blade that just removes it that way. And there you go. One perfect that seam. That is on there. really so good. It just gives you that, say, professional finish uh, a lot easier, so a lot quick. quicker. And that, that is the thing. You should be able just to go down gauges of fabric. So, just like we've got. So, you've got the, the, the like calico, a yard of calico here. Let uh, me just leave these that. here and I'll show everybody in a bit. And then I can just pop that under. So, again. You want to stand a bit closer. That's all right. right. I'm going to let you feed it through. Oh my Actually, gosh. Through there. That's right. Away you right. go. That would be a lot easier. And then. Like that. So then keep running it, chain it off, drink it in there, force that's oh it. Oh my goodness, that was the first thing I've ever overlocked. So Not they, too bad. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. That, but the seam is so gorgeous. And that's the nice thing with an overlock. And this is the idea of using four threads. There's quite, so I would just say, it's one of the biggest questions I get asked is, mm. do, you, do you have to use so much thread? Why does it use so much thread, etc. that way? Really? Straight away, I turn around and say, this is not actually using really any more thread in your sewing machine. No. Because when you straight stitch a seam, you're using two threads, top yes, and bottom. Yes, top and bottom, yeah. Then you zigzag your edges. And you've got so you're that using four top stitches and bottom. anyway. So you're using four threads. So this is just doing and it And can you use any once. thread, or do you need to use you different threads? You can use threads? any Because threads. this is the thread that I use myself. Yeah, you want to stick your quality stuff through it as well, Fabulous. and spend 10 quid a reel on a 1,000 metres, it's up to you. But this but is, the great thing is, as well, with this, you get 12... Uh, We're putting 10,000 metres of 10, thread, 000, I'm saying 12,000, yeah. that's not right. Two and a half thousand uh, yards, metres? Two and a half thousand metres in each yeah. of these cones. So you get to play with them and have a go with it. 
Well, I can see myself just buying a whole load of calico and just play. And just, just play. But I suppose there. that's a good thing to do because you get to learn how to do it. Well, you get the feel of it. For Fluffy stuff. Horrible, stretchy, Fluffy nasty, stuff. fleecy. Uh, moves all over the place. Again, it's something on your sewing machine. And it sheds like anything. Absolutely. So when you're using that, there you go. There's the foot control. Now, of so, course, I sew without a shoe on. Yeah, so this is it. No problem. Proof you can so see So what it. we're going to do there, you see, instead of squashing that, we're going to lift. You have got the foot lift at the back, same as a normal oh, sewing brilliant. machine. Oh, right. So I just lodge. What we can do is sprung loaded at the front, <gasps> so we can oh, lift it up, clever. pop it under, trap it in, and that's it. And away we go. So again, quite a heavy bit of fabric. It so is. It's polyester, so it's a tough fabric rather than cotton. And obviously it's a stretch two by oh. fleece as well. Oh. That is really good. Full stretch. But I love this, movement. that you've got something all stored away in it. And it just catches it all in there. And again, it comes with all of that as, as you standard. See it, that's what it comes with a standard on that there. That is yeah. brilliant. And it, as you can see, with the, the seam, if you give that a little stretch and movement on there as well, it's full tough. Oh my scene. gosh, that doesn't come Obviously, apart I'm using at a complete all. contrast of fabric on oh, thread. I'm using a gold thread. Just but so you would see, but it's, it's, I'm not. You, you can that. see my fingers are pulling on that. I'm definitely giving that some welly. But look at that. Yeah. So, and that's the nice thing. But this is a really good quality seam. And if you look in any garments you've got at home, which is done out of anything movement, fleece, t-shirting, yes. stretch, a sewing machine wouldn't touch it. No. Manufacturing it all be done in an overlocker. So that is the thing with with that where people are trying to sew fabrics at home, which you <gasps> Zebra. <laughs> Zebra. <laughs> but you feel that, feel that. Oh that my god, is, that's horrible. This is one of the nastiest <laughs> fabrics out there, but this is such a fashion fabric at the moment. It is. So many people are coming to me saying, I've got this and my machine's not liking it, it's moving all over the place. But I love it. Let's just cut a piece of that off and then it just makes it easier to handle more than anything. You know. Pop it through. Hannah has a top like this. Aha, uh -huh, lovely. Well, <laughs> we can put some sleeves on it now. We can oh, make some sleeves to go with it. Oh, no, you're just doing technical. So you just literally <laughs> lift it up, plop that up. It oh, I didn't get the bottom layer. Sorry, that was my fault. Oh, nice. This stuff is really slippery. Oh, it is. One of the worst fabrics out there. I have to say, really I do love place. zebras, but I'm not loving that Such fabric. Such a fashion fabric at the moment, so everybody's trying to and use it. And I know Hannah has this top, problems. but it's definitely not in this fabric. <laughs> oh! I'm going to go slightly longer on the stitch oh. length. Ah, oh, there we go, that's working a lot better. And I don't think I'm feeding this in correctly. Oh god, I've pulled oh. back. So, okay. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so let's take over from there a second. Sorry, that's I right. completely no, no, messed that up. It's just got caught cool around the back of the foot, so off there. There you go. Oh, gosh. Nothing major. But honestly... But that is horribly done. Oh, and no. that is my fault so. entirely. What I'm going to do is say, obviously, you're but still, that's why you practice. You're also using a slight angle as well. So we so just we put that through. Well, this time I'll put the stitch length up. So because I could notice that it was bunching up because obviously the, the sucking it, it in just sort of wasn't taking it through right on there. So it'd be there. Yeah, just and the great thing is you've got all this free thread to be able to practice to with, with difficult fabrics like this. Oh, you can tell he's a professional. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. I'm not pulling it through. No, I'm you're not. I think I was making it on one end, and that's the problem. So, all you've got to do is there you oh, go. that's so much better. So you can tell when you have somebody who has absolutely no clue what they're doing versus what a professional does, you can see. And you can see, obviously, I was definitely not doing that very well, but it's my second time using an Oa copper. Hannah, I'm sorry, darling, I've ruined your top. Also, that is one of the worst fabrics to use you are doing. And that's, that's why I bring these along. Is. But the good thing is, oh, look, we've pattern matched that. It, that's, I thought that was quite close. You can tell it's a professional. <laughs> look at that. Oh, all the lines are all matched up perfectly. Oh, so I did there. that deliberately on there. <laughs> but even with, even with it looking so horribly nasty on that, it is still, oh, still such still a it. really, really strong. good, it's strong stitch. Great finish. And then one nasty fabric to another. Oh, yeah, I like your lycra. Go for that. You're really not liking me today. <laughs> what could, what could possibly go wrong? Well, you know, Paul's wearing this at the moment. Uh, don't you? Well, with something like that, you say if it's not stitched correctly, Paul, it would just break and snap. Well, that's not good. We're, I, we're I think we've gone a step too far. Right. <laughs> okay, oh, through. that's much easier to use than that other one. Again, because it's not sort of obviously furry. You're not as thick as the but other I one. But I do think there. the angle that you do it on definitely helps because oh, yeah. that's for my fourth time on an overlap. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Look how perfect that one is. Uh, he said perfect, not me. Absolutely, Gary said perfect, perfect, not me. Well, it's the machine that's done it for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's all you. <laughs> the shade of it all. <laughs> but that's how easy it is to get on and go. And that's what it should that's be. Brilliant. It should make life easier. Do you have easier. a little cutter over there as well? You do. Yeah, you've got a little thread trimmer just at the side there. I was, the industrial way, I just keep doing it industrially. Perfect. That's the way they've always done it, just put it in. But oh, it's just to get rid of the front there. Yeah. 
But that no, you could, when really you pull good. it off, you could and just. And you can see it right sticks really there. well. So. And then so we've got 10 minutes left. Yeah, we've got 10 minutes. Oh, oh, look at that. Right, we'll put that through as an extreme as well. So we've gone from extremes of different types of fabrics. What could possibly go yeah. wrong there? <laughs> so, again, I'm going to put the stitch length back down to normal, which is Perfect. about So what three. is normal? Three? Well, I prefer three. They're saying two and a half is about an average. I actually prefer three. Okay. But it's a personal thing again. So I have watched um, a fair bit of Project Runway. And they always say that you don't hem, a lot of them get into trouble for not hemming their organza. Yeah. Is this what you would use? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, so if I wanted to hem that, what I'm how would I... You, what I'm going to show you now... I'll just jump the gun. Yeah, that's great. That's brilliant. You, you've read my that. mind on that. So that's your seaming overlocking. So it's still your heavier four thread on there. So if you're using jersey stretch, you want to seam and overlock at the same time. Yes. A four thread is what's needed. Four thread, so we've what got we've got here. Two loopers underneath, yep. which is the air threading, yep. and two needles on top. Which is the right and left. Which, which is the right which and I left. Which I threaded myself. Which, no problem at all, <laughs> so that's brilliant. So what you can do, if you want to just neaten, i.e. single layer fabrics and yes. that cut out, what we can do is turn it into a three thread. Right. So I'm going to take off the front cover, to open the front cover, and all I'm going to do... We're going to rotate this just towards, if you don't mind. Yep, absolutely on there. So we're going to cut the last needle. So I'm cutting out the left-hand needle, and that I'm actually... the right-hand needle. Sorry, right, here's, I'm facing the wrong one. Left-hand. That. Oh! Left-hand needle. <laughs> oh, did I press the right one? No, when you, the way I was looking at it, I thought you'd cut that one. Uh -huh. My mistake. That's all right. No mistake. problem. And now I'm going to take out then the needle. So... Oh, you take the needle out as well? Actually remove the needle. Oh my goodness, so you, you just screw. rotate that little screw. There you go. And it's as simple as that. So oh, now fantastic. we've turned it into a three thread overlocker. I'm putting the same so in the zebra fabric. It is. Little tip at home, stick it in the pack. Oh. You know where it is. It's, it's Genius, I'm there. rotating that because yeah. I think everybody should see that. So... When you're not using it, you just pop it in the little spongy bits at the back. That is it's genius. It's held. You know it's also a needle that as belongs in your machine. Exactly. You know how old it is. It's exactly. not one just mixed in a pile somewhere. That is brilliant. And then... And all you've done is cut that off, and this is now to, to it's edge now the edge. for free yeah. thread. So if you're using, say, single layer fabrics and that, if you pop that through now, oh, pop that back on. I'm glad I'm not cleaning this floor. So, and this will now just give me a narrow, neating edge. And so how this, narrow can you make that? Uh, this is the thing. We're going to do it once and then we're going to put it through again to show you how narrow we can really make it. Look at that. So, that's your free thread. So it just gives you a neat, that little a narrow nice... stitch on there. Perfect. And the nice thing with the free thread as well, this, another thing, what you can use your overlocker for. So, on the Juki Overlocker, we have what we call a narrow cutting bite. Right. I.e., needle is quite close to the blade. Yeah. On some of them, they're further apart. Okay. So what that doesn't allow you to do is angle. So you can't go around corners, Fair curves, enough. and things like that. So if you try and go around the corner and the needle's too far away from the blade, it would just miss the corner and miss the fabric completely on there. So if we say we had a pattern piece and you had your pattern piece marked out, a shoulder, a leg, right. or anything yep. like that, then we can actually then take it one step further and save you even more time, so we can cut out our pattern piece and edge and finish at the same time. You're a joke. So, if I just get in there, and what I can do is just run that through, and instead of I'm just doing, they've got it, an arm yeah. marked out or something like that, I could then follow the oh, arm shape. Oh, you are kidding me. On there. We had a dressmaking hour on uh, two hours on Monday, and the ladies were showing me how they were cutting patterns out. This would have been this, phenomenal This, you could just cut it that. all out at once on there. So then, and you just mark it out on the fabric and then cut as you go. Just cut as you go. So oh, how clever. Because they made this beautiful pocket. And I'm just thinking that would have been beautiful for their pockets. Well, for pockets. Um, also making your own things like shoulder pads and things like that. So much easier, quicker. Well, you can actually make shoulder pads. Absolutely. Oh. If you look at a shoulder pad, all it is is two it pieces. Is. A piece of wadding, two with pieces of fabric. With some foam in the Exactly. Oh, my goodness. So you can save yourself a lot of money doing it that as well. That's so, brilliant. We've got five minutes left. Right. Oh, well, my God. There you go, there's your pattern piece. Quick, easy, job done. That's incredible. <laughs> so, and then the fabric won't fray, and you can use basically any fabric on that as well, like we've just done. Yep, no problems at all. Single layer, again, okay, nice, easy, incredible. Quick. So what we're going to do, say about how narrow we can make this, yes. we're going to do, turn it into a roll hem now. So again, mainly oh, use a very got fine, into a fa sheer fabric. language for me there. So what that will do, so we're going to leave it on free thread, exactly how it is. Again, we can go into our screen on here, <laughs> And it will then come up with free thread roll hem. So I'm going to ask for the information. It will tell me what I've already done, basically remove the left-hand needle. It's also telling me to flick this lever towards me. So that's turning it actually into a roll hem. 
by right. removing that lever. And then, personally, I put the stitch length down to about number one. Perfect, okay. I like more of a satin stitch on the yep. edge. And then I'm gonna increase the loop tension. And again, it's a personal thing to how tight I do mm -hmm. it, because I physically want a nice, fine, tight roll edge. So by doing, I don't have to do that, so I'm gonna leave it on number four to start okay. off with. If I then just run that through, on a slight there, and the angle's fine. That's brilliant, and then run that through. Oh wow, that is so really this fine. is gonna give me just that fine roll hem, so I can get a little guide at the front there. And then, part way through, I'm now gonna increase the tension up to sort of seven and a half, mm -hmm. eight. Again, it's a personal thing there. And then what that would do, it would just make it that bit tighter. Oh I know gosh, you can see the difference This there. particular fabric is such a fine fabric, it will allow me to do it quite easily. And then if I want to make it longer, I can take the stitch length up. I love the fact they're all on one piece, so you can see where you are. There you go. Bring that right <laughs> And then back in front again. So this is the one that you left at the four. Yeah. That's the, no, that's the free thread, but left sorry, on the tension at the four, tension at, sorry. at four. Yeah. And this is where you lengthen, the t the increase the tension. And you can see it a little bit tighter on a there. A little bit. And then straight on to then make it longer. Longer there. So then but I have to say, I do see what you like, because I look at, you always look at these amazing fabrics as you get at these incredible yeah. stores with really expensive fabric, like the Liberty and things. And those scarves are horrifying. Oh my that God. That type of thing you mean. It's like you're reading my <laughs> mind. Absolutely. So with something like that, again, it is really fine, really slippery. It's nylon, so it just falls apart when you yeah. look at it. It's such a fine thing. But that is so, so fine. So how I've got that set up, I'm not going to touch anything else at all. It, so the difference is when you are coping with real slippery fabrics, yes. it's, it's a case of not feeding it through, not pulling it, but it's supporting the fabric. Right. And that's that's a big thing. So let the machine sort of do its work, but all but I'm you just doing be a bit is more of a guide I'm just not allowing the fabric to move and slide. Fair enough. So it just keeps it nice. So what have you put the settings on on this? You've so left it at a seven I've or I've left eight. it on the tight tension And the on length there. of the stitch you're leaving at a three. up that bit Perfect. further on there, but I'm going to adjust it again as, as you I go. go. Oh, brilliant. So we love change. a demonstration with everything on one seam. Okay, just going to run that through, and this is how quick and easy a roll hem, making a scarf, a fine, I'm just putting the stitch length down, down to so make it more now. of a satin stitch. So for things like making presents, scarves, handkerchiefs, edging, anything like that, just to whiz around the edge as quick Brilliant. and as easy as that. Gosh, you make it look so easy. But it is. Oh, and that's the good thing about that the machines. So notice when it's come out flat here. So this one was the one that we had at four. Yep. Yeah. And then, and then on this type of fabric, this down to because seven. of the weave of this fabric, yes. I've, been, I've taken it down to one. Yes. And if you look now, look oh at that gosh, edge. Oh gosh, it's a bit wobbly. No, it's a lettuce edge. It's okay. supposed to be frilled. It's, to be it's yeah. I know nothing about all of these And because things. I can tell you, if I want to take that out, and I know we're running out of time, we're nearly you up. Could, yes, we we're have a, what we call a differential feed on the side, mm -hmm. which will then take that wave out of it. So I can play around, but a lot of people do. They like the lettuce edge effect. I know. They, How much time have we got left, Hannah? We've got three minutes. Three minutes. Do you want to give it a go? go? Oh yeah, we can do that. I just uh, that will take a moment. So I'm going to take the differential feed, and then which is the bottom one, I can then play around with that on. Perfect. Here. So then. Just by adjusting that, so this time when I pull it through, this is great on stretch fabrics as well to stop it from waving and from moving. Okay. So putting that through again. And the great thing about this is this is all still on YouTube once we finish the show. You can go back to it at any point that you want to. And if you want to check out all the machine after the show, don't forget that it will still be on the website underneath our YouTube box. Um, and it may not be there. If you come back tomorrow, it'll be a little bit further down on your feed. Um, so if you, it's a considered purchase, so it'll be available. The exclusive offer with Sewing Street is obviously the 10,000 metres of fabric, of fabric, of thread that, gosh, 10,000 metres of fabric, my husband will murder me then. Uh, you've got the 10,000 metres of thread that you can practice on. Oh my gosh, look at that. And then it just gives you that. It just takes away that whole lettuce. So finish. what we'll do is I'm just going to fold this so you can see the two. And <coughs> in this hand here is the lettuce look, whereas this one, is the one that he's just taken the differential feet and you can see there's no more, or well, nowhere near as much of that. That is beautifully fine. 
Right, all I've done is just what most people just don't like doing. I completely stripped all the thread out of oh the overlock. Oh my overlock. gosh, because I know most people, they, they tie the new threads onto the old threads to save themselves. Yeah, that's um, right, and that's not necessarily a good thing because the, the threads can catch, break, and you've obviously got them going on the knots. Tension plates, they can pop them out the tensions as well, which is not good. And also, it's one of those things, if you don't learn how to thread your overlock, you're never going to get confidence on it. Have I hidden your tweezers so, somewhere? Uh, they're around somewhere, aren't they? So... There we go. I've Perfect. got them over here. So quickly then, we've got so a couple of minutes. Threading, this way? De threading device on. Yeah. So lever down, lock the machine into position. Oh, lever up. I've already done that. So <laughs> there, we're going to take a first thread. So there, through, down, and this time I am going to. Sorry, I have you to please, stay in front ahead, of you, you there because we're on a time scale. And the great thing one. is, is you saw how easy it was for me to thread it, and I'm a complete beginner. There, press the button. Oh. oh. I didn't pop it but in properly. It's live television. <laughs> just bear but with we're us. Trying to rush. <laughs> we're just trying to rush on those last But you can few see when you moments. get used to threading the machine, it is a lot quicker than you would expect it to be. And it just goes through so simply. Just don't be shy of pressing that air button like oh, I there. was. Job there you done. go. So that's the first through. one. Then second one. Behind, down, behind. This time it's the blue triangle. So we just pop again the ends into there. So uh, that's in, press the button, job done. So that's your two loops done. I love the way done. it just spat out there. <laughs> there it's it. brilliant. Just gets rid of it out the side. So, so we know we've got those two up there. Threading finger down. Down, rotates the middle of that. The line up. We've got our needle threader now lined up. So we Perfect. take the first one So down. this is the right hand one. The right one. hand one, green through square. Through the green square, down over, the bottom. Over, through the guide. And into that magic threader. Little pigtail guide. Needle threader over to the right. Click it into position hook that's that threaded and then this really is incredible because you and i know you do this a lot but this has completely taken my fear out of overlocking well this. it's that's the thing i am obviously threading a lot of overlockers of all different sorts of on course. there but you can see i can do this standing at the side as well it's all lined up i'm not actually lining anything up at all there's not there's nothing hidden i'm fiddling no. at all it's there in front of you over to your left through, and I done. do use that silly expression that you've got to dance around your table three times and click your heels. Yeah, but that, sometimes it does feel like that to get it to work. But this is just so. Well, and also sometimes you do that, then you think I still haven't got it, and you walk off and leave it because you've only had a little time to and sew. put it back in its box and, and just think there's an overlocker I'll never use again. That is it, and that is it done. And that's it threaded. And then we should have timed you. Well, we had two. I thought we had two minutes left, so <laughs> we're going to run a little bit over because okay. this is so. And then we'll pop that little tray in front them of it. Up. We put the catch tray back in on there. So <laughs> Perfect. Oh, like so. And then straight back to normal. That's incredible. Obviously, we put all the tensions back to number four, so we played around with them, but it doesn't matter at all. Stitch length, differential feed, all back on normal. All back to normal. And there you have and one straight perfect back to where you again. were. This is the most amazing <laughs> overlocker from Juki. I am so impressed. So, yeah, overall, it's just there to make your life a lot easier, a well, lot Well, it definitely quicker. does, and it doesn't yeah. matter what... You, and you're, you're right, even with the quilting side of things, that people are now using more overlockers to trim the edge of their quilts, well, get the binding ready to go yeah, on. But also, when you look at piecing, and they say quarter-inch seam allowance, mm -hmm. then once you're doing it on free front, as what we've got on here, yes. which, to be fair, it's not exactly quarter of an inch. It's almost. But... None of our quarter inches well, are a quarter well, well, inch. But it doesn't matter either, either way, because all that matters is all your seam allowances are the same. Are the same. So Which an is overlocker brilliant. is guaranteed to, to be keep the that same. going. Because it can't, it doesn't And do there's no trimming your seams. <laughs> then, and I it. cannot <laughs> thank you enough. You no, have thank made you for the my day. Absolutely brilliant coming Absolutely along. Absolutely stunning. You very much. So, recap we've got this amazing air thread overlocker. And I'm sorry, I'm going to just pet it one more time. This <laughs> incredible sewing machine. The overlocker comes with a sewing street exclusive. We've got the extra 10,000 uh, meters of thread. And then the bundle that comes with this, the 200 feet with the sewing machine. Gary's gone through all of this and again it's all on YouTube you can go back and see them at any time full two-year warranty on each product you've got the amazing call center if you've got any questions before you buy it or after they're there 24 hours so make sure you contact them if you've got any questions and they're available at any show that you go to Gary, I can't thank well, well, you enough. Thank it's you been very amazing. Much. Pleasure, pleasure, I'm pleasure, so pleasure. glad you're here. Thank you, thank you so much for your time today. The website www.sewingstreet.com. Have a great day. Thank you.